Fabulous catering for your wedding, darling. I do, but... Mummy's talking, sweetie. Two words. Victoria, food, service. Sure, but that sounds expensive. Don't be ridiculous, darling. They do gourmet food and gorgeous presentation for an affordable price. Look it up on the interwebs, would you? VictoriaFoods.co.nz Ooh, fast, fresh, flexible and fabulous. They're perfect. It's Victoria Food Service, darling. A spring shipment of outdoor tiles has arrived at Naturally Tiles. Makeover pathways, outdoor living, pool areas and more. Naturally Tiles, 13 Mandeville Street. Naturalmente e la vostra sciata. Naturally Tiles. Your choice, naturally. The Mains Lights Out at DJ EMP Overnight. Check out the Mains facilities, chat to tutors and find out which program is right for you. Mains is now offering a variety of short courses plus a bachelor in audio engineering and production. On the night sees Pink Floyd Project perform live. Observe lighting and live sound mixing in action. You could even win the Rock Shop prizes. The Mains Live Sound at DJ EMP Open Night. Wednesday, September 23rd, 7 to 9 p.m. 19 King Edward Terrace, Wollstone, across from the tannery. Check out mains.ac.nz. And make some noise! This is the radio ad for Skinny Mobile. To make sure you keep listening, I'm doing it new. <laughs> First of all, Skinny uses Spark Superfast Network, which means everything on your phone happens super fast. And Skinny has won the CanStar Blue Award for most satisfied customers. Plus, Skinny has always got super low prices. Who doesn't love paying less? So if you're not with Skinny, you've got to ask yourself, why not? See skinny.co.nz for coverage and terms. CanStar Blue Award 2015 prepay category. I'm a real adrenaline junkie and my contacts used to stick to my eyeballs. I'm Hamish from Black Betty Cafe and I used to have terrible eyesight. But then I saw Dr Kent and the team at Fendleton Eye Clinic and everything changed. Dr David Kent offers you the safety, accuracy and precision of high definition LASIK at Fendleton Eye Clinic. For your free laser eye surgery assessment with a member of the technical team, call Fendleton Eye Clinic today or go to eyeclinic.co.nz. I do wish I'd done it sooner. The Block NZ Villa Wars premieres Tuesday, September 29 on 3 and on 3 Kent's now. Agree. 95 3, The Edge. In for Guy Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from Smash. Good afternoon, welcome along to the show. Marty and Steph here, filling in for Guy, Sharon and Clint. So normally we do the Smash 20 countdown uh, every single night and our slogan for our night show is the only countdown that counts. It's very clever. Great slogan. Yeah. Doing Guy, Sharon and Clint's show, I feel like we need a new slogan. Okay, what I, have you got for us? I've, I've got a little, okay, I've got a good one. Are you ready for this? Oh, this is going to be a shocker, isn't it? Marty and Steph, filling in for Guy, Sharon and Clint. It's time to have a good time. What about filling in for Guy, Sharon wait, wait, wait. and Clint? Did you like it? No, no, but it needs to have like a saying, like the only countdown that counts, like that's but kind of like But it's time to have a good time. Time to have a good time. Kind of. Oh, what about if we're filling in for Guy, Sharon and Clint, and although they're pretty mint, we're going to be, we're going to beat them to the sprint. That's just it all rhymes It doesn't need though. to rhyme. Damn it, Hey, okay. it's a work in progress. Maybe this time tomorrow we're going to have a banger. I think this has proved why they do the afternoon show <laughs> and we normally do the night show. Keep listening though because 10 past 4 is when we're going to be giving away Justin Bieber tickets. If you've registered online, listen out for your name if you're the first person to call back. You win. We are going to be giving away prizes next actually to start the show. Is Steph smarter than a guy Sharon and Clint listener? We played it yesterday afternoon. Ooh. And it makes a return. So if you want to take on Steph with a bit of general knowledge, get ready to call in. We'll play it shortly. It's this time is... to have a good time with Marty and Steph. Oh, we need to work on that. <laughs> Taylor Swift, Wild Wilders-
Steve filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint, Imagine Dragons, Bleeding Out. We uh, started the show, Steve, with a suggestion for a new afternoon slogan. Yeah, well, when we're on the Smash 20, it's the only countdown that counts. And I feel like filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint, we need a new one. I was thinking, time to have a good time kind of has a nice ring to it. Yeah. Uh, We've had a suggestion, Adrian, on Twitter, bless you, because yours is great, Steph and Marty's afternoon party. That has a good ring to it. Yeah, I, I like, like that. It. I like that. All right, too. well, it's a work in progress. Right now, it is time to play Is Steph Smarter Than a Guy Sharon and Clint Listener? Is Steph Smarter Than a Guy Sharon and Clint Listener? Is Steph Smarter Than a Guy Sharon and Clint Listener? Is Steph Smarter Than a Guy Sharon and Clint Listener? You, a Guy Sharon and Clint Listener. That's you. Probably not. So we played this yesterday, and well, I thought that, you know what? You're a guy sharing a listener. You're intelligent. I mean, you know, you, you're driving home from work. We had high hopes for a- your intelligence. Absolutely. <laughs> but this is a little highlights package of some of the answers that you as a guy sharing a listener got wrong. What was the score this morning between New Zealand and Argentina? I don't watch the rugby. What is the capital of Sweden? Is it Oslo? What country what? is Drake from? <laughs> uh... America. In what country would you find Machu Picchu? Spain or Mexico? Wrong. So this is how it works. You call us on 0800 The Edge and you take on the lovely Steph. Hello. So uh, you're going to be asked a question. If you get it right and then Steph gets the next question wrong, you win a prize. It yeah. is that easy. You let's, just need to beat Steph. Let's dish prizes out. Yesterday we gave away one DVD because so many people got the questions wrong. Let's dish prizes out left, right and centre right now. 0800 The Edge. Are you smarter than me? As a guy, Sharon and Clint listener, 
represent you guys. You know what, Steph? You're, you're not that street smart. Your general knowledge isn't that great. You, you're very good with scandal. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but it's not going to be hard to beat Steph if you want to win oh, a prize. It's offensive. Well, geez, actually, after yesterday's performance, maybe it is quite hard. We'll find.
Steph, that's years and years with King. Filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint this afternoon. He's Steph Smarty Danny. Guy Sharon and Clint listener. He's Steph Smarty Danny. Guy Sharon and Clint listener. He's Steph Smarty Danny. You, a Guy Sharon and Clint listener. That's you. Probably not. Is Steph smarter than a guy Sharon and Clint listener? That is you, and we want you to call in on 0800 The Edge. How it works is if you answer a question correctly, then Steph will answer, uh, ask, be asked the next question. If she gets that right, then unfortunately it's a draw, you don't win. But if she gets that question wrong, then that means that you win yourself a prize. I'm torn. On one half, I'm offended by this because I'm actually quite an intelligent person. On the other hand, only one person beat me yesterday. Sorry, I'm going to be keeping all these delicious Burger King vouchers for myself. Burger King vouchers, up for grabs. Yep, up for grabs. Delicious. Some BK vouchers, player number one. Hello, Caitlin. Hello. All right, Caitlin, your question is, TSB Bank is from where in New Zealand? TSB. TSB. Oh. Um. Tell me. Caitlin's out. Darren, welcome to the show. Hello. Darren. Hello. D-Train. Yeah, yeah, there he is, there he is. All right. You've got an easy one. The ITM Cup uh-huh. is a competition of which sport in New Zealand? Uh, sorry, say that again? The ITM Cup is a competition of which sport in New Zealand? Oh, rugby. Fantastic. Uh, All right. Probably shouldn't get that because he had to repeat the question. Probably had time to Google. <laughs> Here we go. See if this is your question. Mm-hmm. If you get this wrong, then Darren wins himself a prize. Mm. In the periodic table, the symbol H stands for what? Helium. Oh, oh my God. No, actually, that's wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. What? What is it? It's uh, hydrogen. I'm oh, so sorry. No. H-E is helium. I just uh, straight away assumed that Steph would be right, but that was incorrect. I don't know why it got carried away. Oh, Darren, congratulations. You've just won a Whopper voucher, so you can taste how burgers are meant to be. Cool, thanks very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, All right. yeah. One person is smarter than Steph. All right, another one. Luke, hello. Hey, tell you how's it going? Very good. Luke, your question is, Hyundai cars are made in which country? Uh, Japan. Uh, you're out. You're out, Luke. Ollie, hello. This is your question. Hi. All right, Ollie, the young man taking on Steph. Here we go. What is Kim Kardashian's dad called? Uh, Robert Kardashian. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. Not too bad. All right, hit me. What's my oh. question? Okay, if Steph gets this wrong, Ollie, you win. What is eight squared? Um, 64. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ollie. <laughs> And last but not least, Jacob, hello. Hi there. All right, Jacob, what is the capital of Spain? Madrid. Madrid is correct. And, Steph, your question is... Spit it out. Who's sang the song Poker Face? That is too easy. (laughs) Lady, 
Gaga! Oh, that was oh, a bad sorry, question. Jacob. I feel like I let Jacob down there. Jacob, you hold there. You can win as well. But wow, what? that is only one person, Darren, Jacob that could actually win. beat you legitimately. Yeah, no, Jacob doesn't win. He didn't beat me. Turns out that Steph is smarter than a guy sharing in Clint <laughs> Listener. What is going on? Jason Raz, Travis McCoy next on The Edge. You're actually not going to believe this. Hey, New Zealand, this is Justin Bieber on The Edge. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, intimate and acoustic in New Zealand. What, do you mean? what we mean is, you could see one of the world's biggest stars, Justin Bieber, in New Zealand at a secret location for an intimate acoustic show. Can't tell you where yet, sorry. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, intimate and acoustic in New Zealand. Where are you now that I need you? Wanted. RSVP for the Edge guest list at theedge.co.nz. Then, if your name's called out just after four this afternoon with Marty and Steph, call 0800 The Edge, be first through, and you've got a double pass. The Edge gets you closer to Justin Bieber in New Zealand. The Edge. The Edge Roadrunners, hooking you up on the street. Hey, it's Becky here for The Edge. We have Justin Bieber stickers hidden all over Canterbury. You can find clues at the Edge Canterbury Facebook and Instagram page. If you find one, take a selfie, use the hashtag Edge Gets You Closer, and you could be one of the few people seeing Justin Bieber at an intimate acoustic show. And you'll get flights and accommodation thanks to Air New Zealand's Grab a Seat. Check out their low sip temperature deals at grabaseat.co.nz. Get what you want, when you want, with DTR Easy Cash. Whether it's for a family celebration, well-deserved holiday, or to deal with surprise bills, whatever. With Easy Cash, you can borrow up to $5,000. And with affordable repayments to suit your budget, we won't let you get in over your head. Hi, it's Sean here from DTR Rickerton. Come in and see me and the team on Rickerton Road, or call 0800 Easy Cash. That's easy with an I. Conditions apply. Ask in store for details. Flight Centre has 2016 Bali and South Pacific Islands on sale with Virgin Australia. Spend seven nights in Bali from $1,129 per person, plus more fantastic island deals. Departs Christchurch, conditions apply. Visit Flight Centre today. Get your front row seat when high fashion hits the runway at the Valentine's Fashion Week opening show. The catwalk will be flooded with breathtaking spring dresses and dapper suits for the upcoming spring party season. See special guests Trelise Cooper and Paula Ryan showcase their stunning spring summer collections and Valentine's presents stylish looks that'll take you from lunch out to cup day. Hurry, $45 tickets are selling fast. Phone 0800 184 000 and book now. Valentine's Fashion Week opening night from 6.30 on the 1st of October. In the past, there's been drama. These uh, endless days and sleepless nights have really taken their toll on me. I'm starting to lose the plot, hey? And there's been tears. I was really hoping that... <laughs> See, you're crying. This time, it's war. Four teams, four villas, one Mark Richardson. This is what you've been waiting for, Blockaholics. These are the battle. The Block NZ Villa Wars premieres 7.30 next Tuesday on 3, then on 3 now. Would it be great to put an end date on your debt? Now's a great time to talk to GE Money about a debt consolidation loan. Roll your debts into one simple regular repayment with the interest rate fixed for the life of the loan. Call us today on 0800 GE Money. Canterbury, 95.3, The Edge. Try a bit of Marty and Steph in for Guy Sharon and Clint, then try Burger King for dinner while you're trying things out. You got that look in your eyes, eyes I can tell you happy our dreams last night Let me take you in my arms, you can cry, cry Let me love you till you feel alright Cause I am yours, you are mine, you are mine Like going anywhere, I am standing by your side I will love you till the end of the time's line I will love you till the day we die Let's She got a mean golden eye game Honestly, it's not a lot of O's that fit the rhyme scheme But f*** it, for the sake of being overly cheesy I think it's cute, we both like our eggs over easy And lately I've been losing it, love But when you're looking in the Lower East Side You're bound to find nothing but bad luck Days can drift by, but I don't give a damn if you with me Even if the earth exploded, I probably wouldn't notice Never had 
There's another narrow down the field And not to spend the day shopping at Target Cause she's not concerned with Prada yeah. We make hand-me-downs look designed Golden's in the eye of the beholder Love you, girl Don't feel bad Cause you and me are broken Well, I'm To my highness, I travel the world and back and hopes to glow with you. She's the patty mayonnaise to my duck funny. Every kiss is 24 carats, no bugs funny. I used to live wild, she made me slow it down. Who knows, maybe one day we'll have a golden child. <laughs> and that's word to Eddie Murphy. I wouldn't trade places if you threatened to hurt me. Two peas in the pie that can never be open. I'm cool all by myself, but together we golden, yeah. You got that look in your eyes, eyes I can tell you had bad dreams last night Let me take you in my arms, you can cry, cry Let me love you till you feel alright Cause I am yours, you are mine, you are mine, mine Not going anywhere, I am selling my side I will love you till the end of time, time I will love you till the day we die For Guy Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from Smash the Edge. Well, you done done me, and you bet I felt it. I tried to beat you, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best This and nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention I reckon it's again my turn To win some or learn some But I won't hesitate No more, no more It cannot wait I'm yours mind and see like me open up your plans and damn you're free i look into your heart and you will find love 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 and love listen to the music of the moment people dance and sing we're just one big family and it's our god forsaken right to be loved love 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 so i won't it's our day, no more, no more It cannot wait I'm sure there's no need to complicate Our time is short, this is our fate I'm yours do 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 to come on, I scoot your nova closer, dear And I will nibble your ear Been away too long checking my tongue in the mirror And bending over backwards just to try to see it clearer But my breath fogged up the glass And so I drew a new face and I laughed 
left I guess what I've been saying is there ain't no better reason To rid yourself of vanities and just go with the seasons It's what we aim to do Our name is our virtue But I won't hesitate no more, no more It cannot wait I'm yours well, Open up your mind and see like me Open up your plans and damn you're free I Look into your heart and you'll find that the sky You're on the edge with Marty and Steph Filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint That is Jason Mraz, I'm yours The man that rocks the fedora the best like no one else. Like no one else. No one since has been able to rock a fedora quite the same. All right, it is time to, um, well, bring up one of Steph's skills. It's that an she, ability. That it, she brought up. I am self-taught. I, Marty, <laughs> am a dog whisperer. Who let the dogs out? Probably that girl who reckons she can talk to dogs. Steph. Yeah, it was definitely her. Okay, right now, give me a call. 0800 The Edge if you are around your dog. We need some calls. Some canine calls. 0800 The Edge if you're around your dog. So, this started last week. Um, I, I found out that I have the power, the ability, the skill level so high that I can literally cure your dog. If it, like, bites slippers all the time, if it yelps at your neighbours, if, it, if it's real, real naughty, you call I Cure. That is the slogan here. You call I Cure. Asterix, she doesn't cure. I it's do. a bloody stitch up. I do, because remember last week when Steve called up and uh, do you have our little conversation ready with him? I don't actually, um, Steve, Okay, I'll reenact it for you. Hey, Steve, I've got an issue with my dog. It bites sheep, sheep all the time. And I'm like, okay, put your dog on the line and I'll cure it. And hey, presto, I did it. I don't think you did. No, but I, I think, did because I think... we, we called him back and I said, you know, give us an update. And he's like, yeah, Steph. I mean, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but he said, Steph, you're the best dog whisperer I've ever experienced in my whole life. You Quote, just, Steve. You just put words in his mouth. Because he did not say that. Well, he was thinking it. Oh, at 100 The Edge, Jess, welcome on to the show this afternoon. Do you have a dog? Yep, I have two. Great. And what, what mischievous little activities does your dog get up to? Uh, well, it's my older dog, Chopper. He, um, as soon as you open the door, he'll just run out and he screams. Like, as soon as you go to the door, he'll just scream at you. Okay, all Let right. Let me to demonstrate. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. I'd, I'd just like you to put the phone up to, is it Chopper? Yeah. Great. And uh, how old is Chopper? Um, he will be about seven now. Seven, okay, cool. Yeah, just put the phone up to him and um, I'll just um, cure him for you. Okay, sounds good. All right, is With he my there? my dog whispering ability. Okay. <coughs> You're a very naughty dog. You must stop barking when the door opens. You must be a quiet little dog, Chopper. Naughty seven-year-old Chopper, not not a very good dog at all. What's Chopper's reaction, Jess? <laughs> He's just staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> That, you know, that, that's, right, a okay, sign, in, is it? that's a sign that he's understood oh. my whispering ability. He's taking it on board. And you know what? I don't think you can have an issue with this ever again, Jess. And that is free of charge. I, I won't charge okay, you for that. Okay, thank you. Right. Consider it a, a, a newbie freebie for you. Hey, Jess, Are you what? sure you don't want me to open the door and see if you No, no, no. <laughs> well, no, you can believe me. I mean, you might have some trust issues. That's, you know, another problem entirely. I mean, I'm not going to cure that for you, Jess. But, you know, the dog's fine. I reckon what we okay. do is, Jess, you hold there and we're just going to let that information sink in. Mm -hmm. We're going to test to see if it works um, in a couple songs time. I don't I'm, think we need to I'd do love that. to expose Steph the dog whisperer, no, but um, no, if you have it. a dog that needs curing, oh, it hundred the edge. Unbelievable. Why are we doing this? Ashton Merigold, get stupid.
Stay filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint. That is Walk the Moon with Shut Up and Dance. Let the dogs out! Probably that girl who reckons she can talk to dogs. Steph. Yeah, it was definitely her. The intro offends me slightly because I don't just reckon. I know. I'm self-taught. I'm a dog whisperer. I've got the natural ability. There could be haters drinking on the haterade all they like, but it's a real thing, you guys. Drinking on the haterade. <laughs> so we need to hear from you if you're around your dog right now. You call, I cure. That right. is the slogan I we're think going you've kind with. I'm confused what the actual ability of dog whispering is, but sure, we'll, we'll humour it. Okay, we'll go to Lisa first. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Okay, so what's your dog's name? My dog's name is Yogi. Yep, and and what issue are we, are we dealing with? Yogi likes to chew my undies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yogi, what are you up to, mate? <laughs> All right, this needs to be sorted, Steph, do okay. you magic? Oh, we need the dog first, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, is Yogi there? Yogi's here because cool. we just heard his name, yeah. Cool, just pass the phone to Yogi. Okay. Okay. Yogi. Yogi? Yogi, you're a very naughty little doggy. You must stop eating the undies. Undies are for ladies to wear around their bottom, not for your mouth. Naughty, Yogi. How's Yogi responded to that? I think he just freaked them out. Yeah. Fantastic. He needs to be scared, I think. Good strategy. Yogi. All right, you're welcome, Lisa. No problem at all. Cured. Cured. You're not even waiting for thanks. Just like you're just that. taking it. All Hello, right. Jake. What's your dog's name? Hey mate, it's Cora. Great, love that name. And um, and what issue are we dealing with? Oh, hold on, I'm just trying my change. I better pull over. Yeah, you better do that, mate. <laughs> Good. Be responsible. She's, are you there? She's stealing my, she's stealing my gumboots in the morning when I go get up to work and they're out on the lawn. 
Oh, right. that is naughty. Cora, okay, stealing gumboots. Okay, is she with you? Yeah, mate. Brilliant. Yeah, just pass the phone over to her, okay? Come here. Is she there? Yeah, there okay, she is. Okay, cool. Here we go. <clears throat> Cora! Cora, you've got to stop eating the gumboots. The gumboots are for him to put on his feet, not for your mouth. You must not chew the gumboots anymore, Cora. How's that? And here you go. How's Cora responding to that, Jake? Yeah, mate, she's scratching on the track door, uh, door. She wants out. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, I mean, fantastic. I mean, typical reaction, well, really. This service is fantastic. Now, I just know. before we um, mm. went into this voice break, uh, we actually had uh, Jess joining us on the show earlier with her dog, Chopper. This is what Steph whispered to him. Chopper, you're a very naughty dog. You must stop barking when the door opens. You must be a quiet little dog, Chopper. Naughty seven-year-old Chopper, not, not a very good dog at all. Right, so that's yep. what you whispered to Chopper. Um, Jess still joins us on the phone. Yeah. Jess, um, Chopper is with you at the moment. Now, cured. What, what, cured. <laughs> now, it can, take, maybe it takes some time, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> well, would you maybe maybe try open the door and see if he still does the barking like Steph told him not to do? All right, Chopper, come. Come here. Doors open? Oh, cured. No, cured. 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 It worked! Shane, haters! Haters gonna hate, hate, hate! Hey, Juice, you are... uh, Seven years, seven years he's done it, so that was pretty. Yeah, exactly. It is my dog whispering ability. You're welcome, New Zealand. In fact, let's just stop with the radio kind of cureness. I'm going to put on my own show. I'm going to put on a dog whispering show. Bring your dogs. We're going to organize. Chang, let's organize this. We're going to organize this for for the end of the week. A dog whispering show. Bring along your dog and I'll cure it. We'll make that happen. Chang, make it happen. I can't believe yeah. that that actually worked. Yeah, I know. Well, that I'm is not, incredible. I'm not surprised. <laughs> right. All right. Scandal coming up next. And the latest one from Naughty Boy on the Edge. JJ, Mike and Dom. Bruce Jenner hated social media and he avoided it at all costs. But Caitlyn Jenner, on the other hand, is all about it. Where does she keep Bruce's Olympic gold medal? Like, we we have Olympians in here and you ask them and a lot of them don't know. Oh, it's in a, in a the wardrobe somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Bruce, oh, it's right here. <laughs> but, but then it was like 39 years ago that he won. I mean... <laughs> still. I've still got my uh, <laughs> certificate for uh, first aid on the wall. <laughs> She got a high school. Joking. Okay. Oh, that was a great one. That was a really good joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a real piss taking mood today, aren't you? Look at the JJ Mike and Dom. Six to ten weekdays on the edge. And now over to Tamati with an Air New Zealand Grab a Seat weather update. This September, the long-range forecast is for low Air New Zealand Grab a Seat airfares moving across the entire country. With some temperature deals, whatever the temperature is at 9am to selected regions on the day, that's the fare you pay. Expect showers of deals to all our New Zealand destinations. Airfares may reach record lows in some places. For all of today's cool sip temperature deals, visit grabaseat.co.nz. Travel periods, conditions and card payment fees apply. Head to Grab a Seat for full details. Don't miss the last days of Bend On Outlets. Nothing over $20 on all stock, no exclusions. Your favourite brands, Bend On, Fairform, Pleasure State, Lovable and more, only $20. Last days of nothing over $20, no exclusions. Hurry into Bend On Outlet today. In the past, there's been drama. These uh, endless days and sleepless nights have really taken their toll on me. I'm starting to lose the plot, hey? And there's been tears. I was really hoping that... <laughs> You're crying. This time, it's war. Four teams, four villas, one Mark Richardson. This is what you've been waiting for, Blockaholics. Please, the battle begin. The Block NZ Villa Wars premieres 7.30 next Tuesday on 3, then on 3. We go out of our way to go to our Mad Butcher. Because my Mad Butcher goes out of his way for me. Take home more for your money with this week's Mad Butcher specials. Fresh Teagle Chicken Drumsticks, only $4.99 a kilo. And milk, only $1.25 a litre. Conditions apply. My Mad Butcher saves me more. I don't have to worry about the coffee machine or the dishwasher steaming up my glasses anymore. I'm Hamish from Black Betty Cafe. I used to have terrible eyesight, but then I saw Dr Kent and the team at Fendleton Eye Clinic and everything changed. Dr. David Kent offers you the safety, accuracy and precision of high-definition LASIK at Fendleton Eye Clinic. For your free laser eye surgery assessment with a member of the technical team, call Fendleton Eye Clinic today or go to eyeclinic.co.nz. I do wish I'd done it sooner. Maxwell's Dry Cleaning. 
perfect for helping you get your home spring cleaned and smelling fresh. Maxwell's can clean and dry all your fabrics around the house. Duvets, curtains, drapes, cushion covers, the lot. Freshen up your home with Maxwell's. Best of all, there's a Maxwell's dry cleaner near you. The number one dry cleaners in Christchurch have six handy locations. Find out more at maxwelldrycleaning.co.nz. Canterbury, 95.3, The Edge. Marty and Steph, in for Guy, Sharon and Clint, with Burger King's new beef and egg burger. Potentially tastier than this next tune, which is a massive call. From beefing with 1D and And we all know Beyonce from like a million things. I'm so excited she's back. This is Run and Lose It All featuring Arrow Benjamin. New music now. Bitch. These four lonely walls have changed the way I feel. The way I feel. I'm standing still. Nothing else matters now, you're not here So where are you? I've been calling you I'm missing you
Instead, filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint, Naughty Boy, Beyonce, and Arrow Benjamin. It's called Running. I think if I met Selena Gomez in real life, we'd get along really well because, okay, we've both got the same moles on our boobs. Okay. And the exact same space, like the exact same spot. It's like mirror images. Oh my God. We're like right. boob mole soul sisters. So, and we both love singing, like really sexily. Like this is her version of Good For You. Because I just want to look good for you. Good for you. Uh-uh. Yeah, see? Uh-huh. Good for you. So we're both really good at that. And we both love Amy Schumer. So yesterday, after Amy Schumer won her first Emmy Award, Selena was really quick to tweet about how much she loves her. She said, I want to congratulate my absolute favourite at Amy Schumer. I've watched her show since it began and I'm so happy. Hashtag stalker. And I stalk Amy Schumer too, so it's like we're best friends. And it's only you two that like Amy Schumer, so oh, that means yeah, that you yeah, guys yeah, are the yeah. only ones that are alike. And yeah, don't forget, great logic. Don't forget the matching boob moles. Right. Kendall Jenner has admitted that she does, in fact, have a nipple piercing. She said she got it when she was going through a really rough period in her life. She wanted to be a bit of a rebel and thought, let's just do it. She said it hurt, but it wasn't as bad as everyone made it out to be. Apparently, it's the worst as far as the pain threshold. Well, you got your belly button pierced earlier this year. Yeah, what a great gag that was. That yeah. wasn't too bad, but um, <laughs> apparently the nipple's the worst. The tongue's kind of up there as well, but Ooh. it's more of a shock factor. Apparently not as bad as everyone made it up to be, Kendall okay. Jenner says. So there get you go. the other one done then. The Edge has your only chance to get along to the intimate acoustic Justin Bieber showcase. You can RSVP right now at theedge.co.nz along uh, with all of today's scandal stories you can check out. And in fact, in around 15 minutes time, we're going to be uh, calling out three names for this Justin Bieber comp. If you're the first person to call back on 0800 The Edge, you are automatically a winner. Yes, yeah, so uh, get ready to hear your names and already get the phone number. This is a bit of a hot tip. Get 0800 The Edge in your phone so you don't need to dial it. It's just there as a recent call and mm-hmm. then that way you might have a better chance of getting through. All right, well, the latest Edge news and sport is coming up next and we'll read out those Justin Bieber names in just over 10 minutes' time on The Edge. All these guys can thank one TV show for their success. Nobody can drag me The X Factor UK is on TV3 and we want to put you on the Edge international guest list. Enter at theedge.co.nz to win return flights for you and three mates to London, accommodation and a seat in the studio audience at the grand final of the X Factor UK. This season features judges Simon Cowell, Cheryl fernandez Versini, Nick Grimshaw and Rita Ora and presenters Ollie Murs and Caroline Flack. Searching for the next pop superstar and the Edge gets you closer. The X Factor UK, Wednesday and Thursday nights, 7.30 on TV3 or watch on three now the countdown to payday is on and your bank account is empty Empty. top up with a save my bacon little loan and you could have cash in your account today savemybacon.co.nz little loans no surprises credit criteria applies Flight Centre has Australia on sale now, flying Air New Zealand. Save a massive $150 on selected return airfares to over 45 Aussie destinations. Hurry, sail ends today. Conditions apply. Visit Flight Centre today. Burgers and dogs have hit the menu at Machina. Get stuck into a tasty meal with family or friends. 
Open Wednesday to Saturday from 5pm, Machina is a great place to catch up with a big group or take out the family for dinner. Plus, they've got pool tables and arcade games free on Wednesday and Thursday. So visit Machina and try their tasty burgers and dogs today. Dress code in R20 applies after 9 Friday and Saturday nights. Okay, so here's what you're missing out on. What? Ultimate Frisbee. Where? Island Fields, opposite the university. When? Monday nights at 6.30. The league runs for 10 weeks and starts on the 5th of October. How much? Just 25 bucks a person. Just 25 bucks each? Nice. So what if I just want to check it out first and see if Ultimate Frisbee is my thing? Just head to Hagley Park by the Nipple Courts on a Sunday Arvo at 2 and have a go at their social games. Or just visit chchultimate.org.nz. Pegasus Health, 24-hour surgery. See the 24-hour surgery corner Bigley and Colombo for any sports injuries you sustain on the evenings or weekends. 24hoursurgery.co.nz The tension is building. Three News will be covering all the action on and off the pitch at the Rugby World Cup as the All Blacks gear up to take on the world. Will they do it again? We're preparing for the Rugby World Cup. We've got to make sure we're, we're battle hard and ready to go. No team has ever won the Cup back to back. Can our boys? The All Blacks have that opportunity and they're good enough to do it too. Follow the quest for the Cup on TV3. Everything you need to know about New Zealand's favourite tournament. Applying for a home loan and hearing this? Talk to the experts at Mike Pirro about your low deposit or credit issues. Call 0800 500 123 or visit mikepirro.co.nz. Mike Pirro, Lending criteria applies. New Wheat Bix Go Breakfast Biscuits. The energy and fibre of two Wheat Bix and milk in four delicious flavours. Canterbury 95.3. The Edge. That's some news for you. I'm Glenn Stewart at 4. Police in Fielding are still trying to hunt down a man who pulled a knife on staff at the warehouse earlier today. It's understood he was called out shoplifting. Two schools had been in lockdown as a result too, but that's been lifted now. Wellington Zoo wants to bring in some pandas, which would cost around $10 million to do. John Key suggesting some of that money comes from our taxes because it would boost tourism. Councillor Paul Eagle saying it's ridiculous. The Prime Minister is still to come back to us about an airport extension, a second tunnel. There are an array of projects that need to be looked at first before we put pandas as the priority. And it took out the most Emmys in a single year yesterday, but all of the Game of Thrones news today is about star Peter Dinklage. Talk as he didn't expect to win at Best Supporting Actor was caught out chewing gum at the time, so spat it into his wife's mouth when they kissed before he walked on stage. That's your latest Edge news. STA Travel Early Bird Europe sale on flights, con ticket tours and more in-store and online at statravel.co.nz. Edge Sport. The Australian side to face Fiji in the Rugby World Cup on Thursday is out. Coach Michael Checker naming the full-strength side despite thoughts he might rest some stars for their next clash against England. I've really just gone for the team I feel is going to perform well in this match. It doesn't mean anything for the next game. The All Black side to face Namibia is out later tonight. A lot of Kiwis are also starting to back Japan after their win over South Africa. A lot of jerseys selling here, especially in the Lower South, thanks to Japanese forward Justin Ives, who was born in Mosgiel. Rugby World Cup 2015 news with Novus Autoglass. They never dropped the ball. Novus.co.nz And two of the Rapidos stars, Dylan Walker and Aaron Gray, were rushed to hospital in Sydney this morning with a suspected drug over Dose. Well, both NRL stars had surgery last week and there's talk they might have actually just had reactions to their pain relief. In for Guy, Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from Smash. Good afternoon, one minute past four and in nine minutes time we're going to be reading out three names for our Justin Bieber showcase. You can only win tickets by registering online at theedge.co.nz and getting your name called out. If you're the first one to call through, if you're one of the three names, then a double pass for you to head along is all yours. At 20 past four, Marty, I'm excited for you. You've made a big decision to do something today. You're going to put the, your heart on the line. And you can find out exactly what we're talking about at 20 past four. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it because, you know what, I don't like talking about feelings or anything like that that much. Yeah, Being I know a typical you don't. New Zealand guy. I but know. I will, I'll do it for this. So that's coming up in about 20 minutes' time. But hang tight, Justin Bieber fans. Those three names coming up next on the show. Here's the latest one from Broods. It's called Every Time on the Edge with Marty and Steph. Are you with us, darling? Cause you treat it like a game And you mess yourself up It's such a shame, it's such a shame You got issues, darling Cause you waste it all away You're full of yourself It's all 
We want to break the world record for the most consecutive rugby passes, but where are we going to do it? You can vote for your city at theedge.co.nz and we'll announce the winning place tomorrow. JJ, catch. Woo! All right, that's it. Damn it. You're out. I wasn't ready for that. (laughs) No, we can't risk having you on the team. (laughs) JJ, Mike and Dom, 6 till 10 weekdays on The Edge. What I'm saying Trying to catch the beat Make up your heart Don't know if you're happy Or complaining Don't want for us to win Where do I start? First you wanna go to the left Then you wanna turn right Wanna argue all day Making love all night First you're up, then you're down And in between Oh, I really wanna know What do you mean? No, what do you mean? Hey, yeah. When 
and see filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint that is Justin Bieber with What Do You Mean and look at the time it's 10 minutes past 4 it is time to call out three names who have RSVP'd online at theedge.co.nz are we ready? I think we are okay the three names are Amber Grange Allison Jazz Tiatini uh, and Leisha Tay all right, you're going to have to say those again. <laughs> Amber Grange Allison, Jazz Tiatini, and Leisha Tay. If that is you, the first person to call right now on 0800 The Edge will win tickets to the intimate and exclusive Justin Bieber showcase. What I don't get is you've called out three names, but there's five people calling at the moment. How does that work? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of people with a few double ups. <laughs> all right, Good well, uh, the first one through on 0800 The Edge. Two spots to go see Justin Bieber are all yours. You can't and buy tickets to this show. It is going to be in a secret location on October 1st. We'll find out who gets through next. Rudimental, waiting all night. On
all night. What do you mean? Justin Bieber, he is coming to the country. It's quite exciting if you're a believer because he's doing an intimate showcase October 1st in a secret location. You can't buy tickets. The way that you win them is by RSVPing online at theedge.co.nz. And if your name gets called out and you're the first to call through, you win yourself a double pass. Amber Granger Allison, Jazz Tiatini, and Leisha Tay were the names we just read out about five minutes ago. We do have a winner on the line, Marty. And the winner of two Justin Bieber tickets to his intimate exclusive showcase is Jazz! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Great stuff, Jazz. Woo. Congratulations! Oh my God, thank you very much. Now, what is a 27-year-old doing loving Justin Bieber, Jazz? Um, I love him. He's an awesome performer. He's an awesome artist. I love his songs. Yeah, no, he is an amazing performer. And this is going to be an intimate showcase, so you're going to be so close. You'll be pretty much able to touch him, although we might throw you out if you do. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so excited. Good on well you, Jazz. Done. We'll see you there October 1st. The next time we call out some names is 10 minutes past 8 with Oscar and Mon doing the Smash 20 tonight. So make sure you RSVP at theedge.co.nz. Marty, today you've you made a big decision. And straight after this next song, <laughs> you're going to put your heart on the line, aren't you? I am so nervous. Good luck. God, I'm nervous. Here's a little mix, Black Magic, on the edge. All the girls on the path, knocking at my door. Want to know what it is, make the boys want more. Is your lover playing on your side? Said he loves you, but he ain't got time. Here's the answer. Come and get it. And a knockdown prize Full hey! of honey Just to make him sweet So ballin' Just to help him see What he's been missing So come and get it While you still got time hey! Get your boy on his knees And repeat after me, say
Edge with Marty and Steph filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint. That is Little Mix with Black Magic. Marty and Steph. So there is a member of staff leaving at the end of this week. She's been working here for about a year or so. And look. You're I- particularly a little bit upset about her departure. I am because yeah. she is hands down the most beautiful girl that works here at the edge and she's moving away and I just feel like I have to let her know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about hands down the most beautiful girl working at the edge. After Steph, mm. but you know how I feel about you. So I don't need to, you know, <laughs> put all my feelings on the table. I haven't told her how I feel. So she needs to come into the studio and I need to tell her my true raw emotions and see if I can maybe sway her into staying instead of leaving on Friday. Do you want me to go get her? Yes. Okay. Rachel. Hi. How are you? Good. How um, are you yeah, yeah, good. How are you? Good. Hey, well, look, um, you know how you're leaving on Friday? It's your last day. Yes. Well, I just thought that I couldn't really let you leave without telling you how I really feel. How you really feel? Yeah. Um, so, like, you've been working here for the last year or so, and... Um, I don't know, I feel like you're, you know, you're really beautiful, you're intelligent, you're witty, um, and I think you're really special. Oh, thanks, Marty, that's so and, nice. Um, well, I just don't know if I can let you leave on Friday. Um, I know that you're going with your husband to America, but yeah. without kind of putting on the table that it's okay if you wanted to maybe not go with him to America and stay here in New Zealand with me, and... I'd be open to that and, and I'd like to offer that you, you don't leave and that you stay with me here in New Zealand. That's a lot to process. Um, I don't know what to say, but it, it, I think that's really lovely. Um, uh, I have no idea what to say to that, but it, it, that's a really, if, if you mean it, then that, that's a really nice thing to say. And I hate to put you on the spot, but, you know, um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know how I feel. Thanks, Marty. That, that's really lovely. Um, I guess, yeah, uh, I am married and, and, and happily so, um, but I think you're amazing, And but I also think you can do way better than me. So. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Of course you can. Um, yeah, and I mean, it, it's scary, like, moving away, and I mean, my husband and I are going to be relying on each other a lot. I think it's going to be a good test and stuff but I, I do have to go and, and do that um, but it, that's a really nice thing to say I'm very I guess surprised and quite flustered as you can probably tell well instead of being really <laughs> angry I think you've actually answered with the oh, right answer because it okay? cause Finn's actually joining us on the phone right now good afternoon yes, Finn yes I handled it well <laughs> hey how's it going <laughs> well, I told you he loved you. Remember we've had conversations about this before? And you always thought that Marty had a thing for you? Well, I didn't true. think that, but that's not... I'm very well, flattered. So the, the feeling was mutual. Okay, maybe actually it was me. No, maybe it was me. I, I thought Marty had a thing for you. So truth, truth comes out, eh? Oh, I'm truth very, I'm very, very flattered. I am. Well, yeah, honestly. Finn, you're going to have to take her away as quick as you can on Friday. Get on that plane <laughs> to America. Mate, I know where you live, Marty. I'm coming to get you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All the best, Rach and Finn, for your next Thank kind of big you, adventure in LA. Best of luck to you guys. It's going to be amazing. And please get a pull-out couch so I can come and stay. Marty's not allowed to stay at your house. Uh, he, can sleep out. he can sleep out on the deck, but he's not allowed on board now. It's nice and warm over there, so you'll be fine on the lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he needs to stay in New Zealand. It might be safer. <laughs> We have been made aware that Guy Williams has the most annoying laugh of all time. It's not even a laugh. He just pants like a dog. Exhibit A. <laughs> have you thought about maybe adopting a new laugh? Yeah, I've been working on some new laughs okay, all on night. Okay, well, let's hear your best three. Laugh number one. <laughs> about example number two. <laughs> Why do all your laughs sound like you're about to go murder somebody? Third. <laughs> <laughs> Things get weird at 3 o'clock. Guys, Sharon and Clint, back Monday, 3 p.m., October 5. The Edge Roadrunners, supported by Dress Smart. Smart brands, smarter prices. Hey, it's Becky here for The Edge. We want you to take up the under $200 challenge with Dress Smart. 
This is the ultimate challenge to create an outfit for under $200 and you can walk away with a $1,000 Dressmark gift card. To enter, text the keyword under in your details to 3343 and you could be winning. The Edge Roadrunners, supported by Dressmart, Main South Road Hornby. Like them on Facebook so you don't miss any hot deals. An empty bank account can really slow you down. Top up with a Save My Bacon little loan and you could have cash in your account today. Savemybacon.co.nz Little loans, no surprises. Credit criteria applies. Don't miss the Motorcycle Expo. Free barbecue breakfast and spot prizes. See the replica Indian motorcycle used in the Burt Munro movie. For dates and details, register now at ccc.govt.nz forward slash motorcycle. What should you expect from New Zealand's newest car and home insurer? Cool people to chat to? Yep, got that. Well, that might be subjective, but at UE Car and Home Insurance, we love the people who work for us. Our intensive training programs give them extensive knowledge of our product, and we do everything to make the workplace super cool for them. It's all part of our commitment to making sure our people give you the best service they can. UE. Call 0800 00 UE or go to ue.co.nz. Hi, Mike McRoberts. Tonight on Free News at 6, Panda Diplomacy. John Key is backing plans to have the rare animal brought to Wellington. Is it true or just all porkies? Downing Street reacts to Piggate. More on the New Zealander killed in an Amazon cleansing ceremony. He came here as a refugee, so how did a Somali man end up on terror charges? Then on Story, we meet a dairy farmer who's cleaning up his act. Environmentally friendly farming? It is possible. Tonight at 7 on 3. Hey mate, how's the day? Yeah, I'm struggling a bit with the scaffolding. Getting a bit closer to the power lines than I'd like, yeah, eh? I see what you mean. I'd ring O'Ryan for some free advice and a consent if I were you. Oh yeah, what's the number? 0800 363 9898. Or better still actually, send an email to Orion Consents at orioningroup.co.nz and they'll sort it for you. Oh cheers. Don't risk it. It's your life on the line. Canterbury, 95.3, The Edge. Marty and Steph in for Guy, Sharon and Clint with Burger King's new long chicken Caesar. Potentially tastier than this next tune, which is a massive call. Uh, a moment you'll never remember and a night you'll never forget. we 
gonna stand up, sing hallelujah. hallelujah. Show praise with your body, stand up, sing hallelujah. hallelujah. And if you can't stop shaking, lean back, let it move right through ya. And say your prayers, say your prayers, say your prayers. In for Guy Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from Smash the Edge. Be on for something Hey, oh, hey oh. I just wanna feel your body on me Hey, oh, hey oh. If you want it, then you got it for me No more, no more wasting time We can, we can go all night Hey, oh, hey oh. I just wanna feel your body on me Ay, 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 ay Body on me And Steph filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint. That is Rita Ora, Chris Brown, Body on Me. Of course, Chris Brown coming to the country, 18th of December. All the details, theedge.co.nz. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you always get the giggles when we talk about this. Okay, so... Oh, it is so good. Do you want, do you want me to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, explain, okay. explain what we're about to play. There is a fighter. He is an MMA fighter, which stands for... I just learned this. Hold on, let me remember. Martial arts man. Mi- mixed martial arts, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just add an M at the end. He's a fighter. His first name's Danny. I mean, that's a pretty normal name. Yeah, nothing Danny, funny about that. Beautiful name. His last name is Minus. Minus. And Minus. So when when the commentators have to say his name really fast, it sounds like exactly what you're what you're thinking at the moment. And the combination of commentating 
fighting with that last name. It is, it's, it's hilarious. Look at the look of intensity on Mayanus. The question is, can Salmon get inside Mayanus? Mayanus <laughs> has got to be careful of the liver kick. This is not where Mayanus wants to be. Mayanus is most comfortable on the ground. Not a good place for Mayanus to be. <laughs> Mayanus needs to loosen up a little here. We know, Pat, that Mayanus can take a pounding and come back. Interesting to see Mayanus getting a little acrobatic. Mayanus wants to take him there, take him into the deep water. So far, so good for Mayanus. Salmon did say yesterday he has enormous respect for Mayanus. Now Mayanus goes to ground. This is where Mayanus wants to be, Pat. And Mayanus didn't quite have the time on the ground that he wanted. Double jab my anus. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> you are like a giggling little girl right now. It is so funny. I was watching it last night. And honestly, I don't know if it was because I was really tired or what it was, but I was crying. It is just, it's a combination. It's just, it's so funny. It's good. Marty loves it. The video is on our Facebook page if you haven't seen it. That Smash is not dead. where my anus wants to be. But it got us talking today. Do you know someone or do you have an unfortunate name? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be good. Because there, there are a few, like, Chris Peacocks out there. Chris Peacock. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like expect. You don't, know, you don't really need to do that. Uh, oh, I can't do the edge. Do you know someone with a name <laughs> that maybe it's not as bad as Minus? Uh, but maybe it is. Oh, eight hundred. The edge will text us three three four three. I feel like I'm back at school giggling about this stuff. Have you married into an unfortunate name? I'm going to marry Danny. I want to have my last <laughs> name as Minus. <laughs> George Ezra on the edge. God was blessed by the gods of me and you. We had a wish for to find ourselves some truth. Oh, what you waiting for? No, what you waiting for? We counted all our reasons, excuses that we made. We found ourselves some treasure and threw it all away. What you waiting for, no, what you waiting for? What you waiting for, no, what you waiting for? When I dance alone and the sun's beating down, blame it all on me. When I lose control and the veil's over you, blame it all on me. Tide of blossom, caught in the carnival. Your confidence forgotten. I see the gypsies roll. Oh, what you waiting for? No, what you waiting for? What you waiting for? No, what you waiting for? When I dance alone and the sun's beating down, blame it all. Look at her, look at her, ooh 
And you say that it's not right But where does he think you are tonight? Doesn't know you're not this right Look at her, look at her, oh If you want me, take me home and let me use you I know we burns inside this fire like I do And does he know that there's nobody quite like you? So let me tell you all the things he never told you and Steve that is new music from Maroon 5 it is called Feelings we're talking about funny names unfortunate names that you have there's an MMA fighter well his last name's Manus um, but if you say that really quickly and repetitively then well it's just not ideal especially when punching and fighting is all to do with you know um, <laughs> being punished oh man it's, Appar- not, it's not ideal is it he's not the only one in the world a lot of New Zealanders apparently have pretty unfortunate names from the feedback we're getting 3343 is our text number. Our last name is Doodle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, You're enough, just going to that? Enough said. Uh, someone else, that all black whose name sounds like Charlie found my wiener. Yeah, Charlie followed my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good. My old company I used to work for had a client named Richard Swallows. And I'm not sure if I can read this one out. I don't, I, think, I don't think Swallows is a, is a great last name to start with. You're just really setting yourself but up, aren't you? Especially with the, you know, what's the nickname for Richard? Yeah, well, yeah, no, no, I picked up on it. Oh, yeah, you, don't you worry. picked up that. I, I was picking up with your land now. Should I, read, should I read this one out? Do it. Come on. Um, okay, 3343 if you want to text us. I know a guy called Mike, first name, Hunt. Second name. All right, say that really quickly. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 800, the Sharon. Uh, tell us about the unfortunate name that you know of. All right. Uh, back in primary school, I had a friend named Michael. His last name was Kerr. So one day, I actually met his dad, and his dad's name was Wayne. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Very unfortunate. I'm sure oh. his parents didn't love him. <laughs> I think Wayne is probably the most unfortunate first name because Wayne with like Kerr or Wayne with like King, King. It's, just, it's just not a good combo. I mean, I've heard stories about that name. I didn't know it was an actual person. But okay, Sharon, thank you very much for calling. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Oh, 800 The Edge. Alicia, what is your unfortunate name that you know of? Um, it's a friend's mum and her name is Brenda Overend. 
Brenda O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That's really good. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't know what else to say there, but Brenda Overeen sounds like a fantastic lady. Oh, I love Brenda Overeen. She's the best Brenda ever. Thanks, Alicia. Thanks. 0800 The Edge, Andrew, what is the unfortunate name that you know of? Uh, mine's myself. I'm Andrew Innes, and shortened to A. Innes is A. Innes. <laughs> oh, no. So you just hate abbreviating your name? Oh, yeah. So my, nick, my, nick, my nickname was obviously, yeah, anus for the whole entire time through school. Aww. That's that's not what you need when you're a young kid going through school. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Definitely not. That is, oh, um, yeah, so yeah, you can't really do anything about that, can you? Because hey, Anus, I actually feel really bad about that. So why don't we um, give you a Burger King voucher or something to make you feel a bit better? Awesome. All right. Hey, at least you kind of have some kind of empathy for that MMA fighter with the last name Manus. Manus. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Thanks, Anus. Oh, yeah, don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> some great texts coming in as well on 3343. Yeah, we'll wrap things up with this. My sister married a man whose last name was Crapper. My friend's last name is Mato. His dad's name is Thomas, but goes by Tom. Oh, wow. Tom Mato. Surely, surely as a parent, you've got to think about these things. And last but not least, my last name is Crack. Facebook won't even let me have it as my last name because it's an unacceptable name under Facebook terms. Got it? Incredible. Wow. Thank you so much for all the calls and texts. Coming up next on the show, we're going to have the latest in Scandal and some music from Kygo, Parson James on the Edge. You're actually not going to believe this. Hey, New Zealand, this is Justin Bieber on the Edge. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, intimate and acoustic in New Zealand. What do you mean? What we mean is, you could see one of the world's biggest stars, Justin Bieber, in New Zealand at a secret location for an intimate acoustic show. Can't tell you where yet, sorry. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, intimate and acoustic in New Zealand. Where are you now that I need you? Want it? RSVP for the Edge guest list at theedge.co.nz. Then, if your name's called out at 8.10 tonight on the Edge Smash 20, call 0800 The Edge, be first through, and you've got a double pass. The Edge gets you closer to Justin Bieber in New Zealand. The Edge. In New Zealand, Aussie sale on now. $150 off all return flights to Australia. Use promo code Aussie150 when booking online. Sale ends 22 September. Car payment fee and travel periods apply. Book now at airnz.co.nz. Hi, Mike McRoberts. Coming up on 3 News at 6, pandemonium in the beehive. John Key backs a new push to get pandas for Wellington Zoo. They're calling him David Hammerin. So what does Downing Street make of Piggate? The Kiwi who died in the Amazon in the cleansing ceremony and Auckland's great bike heist. Then on Story, being burgled recently, well, chances are the offender got away. We look at what you can do to help police do their job at 7 on 3. We go out of our way to go to our Mad Butcher. Because my Mad Butcher goes out of his way for me. Take home more for your money with this week's Mad Butcher specials. Fresh lamb shoulder chops only $9.99 a kilo and milk only $1.25 a litre. Conditions apply. My Mad Butcher saves me more. Summer Starter is back. It's a fun run like no other. There'll be entertainment, dress-ups, colour and costumes all the way from New Brighton to Redcliffs. You can even scoot and bring your dog. So get amongst it. Entries are open now with 4K and 10K run and walk options. Plus $3 from every entry goes to help worthy charities. Keep an eye on the press for training tips and much more. For more info and to sign up, head to summerstarter.co.nz. Summer Starter, Canterbury's fun run and walk, November 29th. Look better in your business suit or birthday suit. Hit Nando's for low-carb spicy chicken because summer's just around the corner. Hi, Summer. Nando's Rickett and Row by the railway line. Now that's plucking hot. Okay, so here's what you're missing out on. What? Ultimate Frisbee. Where? Island Fields, opposite the university. When? Monday nights at 6.30. The league runs for 10 weeks and starts on the 5th of October. How much? Just 25 bucks a person. Just 25 bucks each? Nice. So what if I just want to check it out first and see if Ultimate Frisbee is my thing? Just head to Hagley Park by the Nimble Courts on a Sunday Arvo at 2 and have a go at their social games. Or just visit chchultimate.org.nz. Applying for a home loan and hearing this? Talk to the experts in Mike Pirro about your low deposit or credit issues. Call 0800 500 123 or visit mikepirro.co.nz. Mike Pirro. 
only criteria applies. Canterbury, 95.3, The Edge. In for Guy, Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from... Darling, darling, I'll turn the lights back on now. Watching, watching, as the credits all roll down. And crying, crying, you know we're playing to a full house. House. No heroes, villains, one to blame. While the dead roses fill the stage and the thrill... The thrill is gone Our debut was a masterpiece But in the end for you and me Hold this show, it can't go on We used to have it all But now's our curtain call So hold for the applause Oh, 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 oh And wave out to the crowd And take our final bow Oh, it's our time to go But at least we stole the show 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 That we are sold out This is fading But the band plays on now We're crying, crying So let the velvet roll down Down No heroes, villains, one to blame While the dead roses fill the stage And the thrill, the thrill is gone our debut was a masterpiece Our lines we read so perfectly But the show, it can't go on We used to have it all But now's our curtain call So hope for the applause Oh, 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 oh And wave out to the crowd And take our final bow Oh, it's our time to go But at least we stole the show At least we stole the show For Guy, Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from Smash the Edge. Fly 
flying through the stars I hope this night will last forever Oh, 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 oh. around me Then you put your charms around me We stare into each other's eyes And what we see is no surprise Got a feeling most of treasure And a love so deep we can't measure Ain't nobody loves me better Makes me happy With Marty and Steve, that is Felix Yarn and Jasmine Thompson. Ain't nobody loves me better. And Felix Yarn is the guy that remixed the Omi Cheerleader song because before he remixed it, that song was just a battling away song that wasn't making any charts. And then he remixed it. All of a sudden, it's a worldwide hit. So that's how you remember that name. And that's my fun fact for the afternoon. Marty and Steve's scandal. Thanks for that, Marty. Do you want me to give more music fun facts? Yes, songs? I do. Okay, actually, that was really nice. Can Katy Perry and John Mayer make up their minds already? Because they attended girl star Alison Williams' wedding on the weekend. She is from Girls, I believe. I said girl star Alison Williams. So I'm assuming after I said girl star, that would make you believe that she is in fact a star from Girls. Yes, I've just been correct. found out for not listening to Scandal <laughs> properly. She plays Marnie. Well, I didn't know that. It's great. Oh, funny. Look at you, Adam. full of knowledge. Facts, man. Stat man, Marty. I just don't listen to what you say. No, you don't. Anyway, they went to the wedding together and they looked really happy and they were holding hands and they sat next to each other the whole time during the wedding ceremony. What did I just say? You, they held hands during the ceremony. Oh my God. Lucky, what? lucky guess. Yeah. <laughs> Kylie Jenner has defended, are you listening? Because I'm going to quiz you. Okay. Herself again and saying, I've never had breast implants. She wrote about it on her new lifestyle app and her website and she's saying that her new larger breasts are due to wearing push-up bras and putting on a little bit of weight. She wrote, no, people, I haven't got breast implants. Everyone is obsessed with that. Truth is, as I've got older, I've gained about 15 pounds and my body has changed. I've definitely filled out. So there you go, guys. New breast implants for who? Kylie Jenner. Correct. TheEdge.co.nz to find out all of today's scandal stories and we have your only chance to get along to the intimate acoustic Justin Bieber showcase RSVP at TheEdge.co.nz. Tickets. Half an hour, we're giving them away. Yep. And I'm not I'm not doing whole sentences. 30 minutes, tickets, you win. Yay! Well done, you're just getting the main message across. Well, that's all you need to do. To win, you basically have to use the hashtag Edge Gets You Closer by finding Justin Bieber stickers hidden all around the country. Um, so if you've found one of those stickers and you've uploaded it to Instagram with that hashtag, we could be calling you in 30 minutes' time. Next to the latest in Edge news and sport. JJ, Mike and Dumble. Bruce Jenner hated social media and he avoided it at all costs. But Caitlyn Jenner, on the other hand, is all about it. Where does she keep Bruce's Olympic gold medal? Like we, we, we have Olympians in here, and you ask them, and a lot of them don't know. Oh, it's in a, in a wardrobe somewhere. In a, I don't know. Bruce, oh, it's right here. Anyway. But, but then it was like 39 years ago that he won. I mean, <laughs> still, I've still got my uh, <laughs> certificate for uh, first aid on the wall. <laughs> She got a high school. Joking. Okay. Oh, that was a great one. That was a really good joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a real piss taking mood today, aren't you? Look at the JJ Mike and Dom. Six to ten weekdays on the edge. Right now at Countdown, get 20% off wine when you mix and match any six or more bottles of wine. That's right, mix and match any six whites, reds or sparkling and get 20% off for a limited time at Countdown. Season C's apply. 
Experience amazing Antarctica at the International Antarctic Centre. Play in real snow and ice, survive an Antarctic storm, take a fun Hagelin ride and a 4D Antarctic cruise. Watch Happy Feet in 4D, see little blue penguins and so much more. It's hours of fun for everyone and possibly the closest you'll get to Antarctica without mounting your own expedition. See iceberg.co.nz. The International Antarctic Centre, the coolest in town. Don't miss the last days of Bendon Outlets. Nothing over twenty dollars on all stock, no exclusions. Your favourite brands: Bendon, Fairform, Pleasure State, Lovable, and more. Only twenty dollars. Last days of nothing over twenty dollars, no exclusions. Hurry into Bendon Outlet today. Blame grilled beef. Oh yeah. Or tender chicken. Okay. Crispy lettuce. Yeah. Melted cheese. Oh, I really like cheese. Juicy sliced tomato. Oh, I like Crunchy that. Crunchy onion rings. Yes, rings. Pickles. Stop it. Creamy mayo. It's the best kind of mayo. Ketchup. Ketchup. Fresh bun. Oh, yeah. Or reheated tuna. What? Wait. Can I have the first one? With burgers the way they're meant to be, Burger King for dinner is the clear winner. Drive in now. You're at one of the biggest family concert events in Australasia. There's some big names playing. Even our very own Savage. It's an important day, but you didn't have any problem deciding what to wear because you're wearing what everyone else is wearing. A thick coat of green slime. Catch all the craziness of the Nickelodeon Slime Fest. And when you're finished getting slimy, get spongy with the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water. A top watch this month on Sky Box Office. Sky, come with us. Okay, Vikings. Love it. Mad Men. Awesome. Suits. Haven't seen it, but Transparent, my new favourite. If you haven't tried Lightbox already, then get on it, because you get six months with your Spark broadband plan. Lightbox is online TV, when and where you feel like it, on almost any device. Yep, jump on, find a series, and watch from start to finish. So if you haven't already, head to spark.co.nz slash lightbox and get six months on Spark with any broadband plan. A Lightbox month is 30 days. Lightbox and Spark T's and C's apply. Block NZ Villa Wars premieres Tuesday, September 29 on 3 and on 3 Edge now. Weather with Willowbank. Feed the lambs, pet rabbits and more at their spring festival on now. Good morning weather in Christchurch. Periods of rain. Some of it will be heavy from this afternoon and a high of 9. And Otago fine with morning frost. Cloudy periods and a high of 11. Wanaka fine and frosty. 17 expected today. Queenstown fine and frosty with light winds and 16. And for Southland today fine with some morning frost. Evening cloud and a high of 13. <laughs> Some news for you. I'm Glenn Stewart at five. Well, first up, a business has been hit really hard after 150 motorbikes worth around 160 grand were stolen from a warehouse in Auckland. Hit early yesterday, police think the thieves hijacked a forklift and disabled the alarm. The offenders have actually been there for quite some time, um, anywhere from four to six hours. The victims are very upset. They um, are a family business and they're going to take a, a substantial loss from this. Wellington Zoo wants to bring some pandas into the capital. It'll cost around $10 million and the idea's out that use some of our taxes to help. John Key says it'll boost tourism to the capital. Labor's Andrew Little, though, a bit sceptical. If the Wellington economy is now dependent on the arrival of one or two pandas, we are in serious trouble. By all means, let's have a look at it, but it's not a priority for me right now. And he's been out of the news for a while. Kim.com's failed in his efforts to cancel or delay his extradition hearing. His lawyers have been trying to hold things up, claiming US interference, but .com will start facing extradition from Thursday. That's your latest Edge News. STA Travel Early Bird Europe Sale on flights, Kontiki tours and more in store and online at statravel.co.nz. Edge Sport. The Australians will face Fiji at the Rugby World Cup Thursday with a full strength side the Aussies named to earlier today. Now the All Black side to take on Namibia is out at 1am. Most regulars will get rested or benched and Conrad Smith says he's fine with that. The impact of the bench can sway games. You know you can be under the pump and a couple of guys that bring a bit more energy they can shift the whole way that the game's been played. Rugby World Cup 2015 news with Novus Autoglass, proud to be New Zealand owned. And across the ditch, police are investigating after two of the Rabbitohs NRL stars were admitted to hospital with a suspected drug overdose. But there's talk it might be actually about reactions to pain relief. Both of them had surgery last week. In for Guy Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from... Good afternoon, Marty and Steph here, three minutes past five. Hopefully you had a nice day on this gloomy Tuesday. Hello. Hello, Steph. 
Hello. <laughs> it's a big day for Steph today. Four years with yeah. your boyfriend. Yeah, it's a big anniversary. Well, it's a big week of anniversaries yesterday. You and I celebrated our two-year on anniversary. Yeah. Congratulations, babes. <laughs> and today it's my real-life lover. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I said lover. Well, you're four years down the track. I think you can <laughs> start so saying weird. lover. It's so I find it weird, and like, there's lots of people listening that I'm sure do this. When you when you call them your partner, I feel like when you say that. partner, that's quite grown up. Yeah. Well, I just don't like the word partner. Partner. But um, anyway, your boyfriend, your friend that's a boy, four years down the track. I've got a question that I want to ask you next, actually, to do with your four-year anniversary. Let's oh probe into Steph's life a little bit next. Also, in half an hour's time, we're going to be calling somebody back that's used the hashtag Edge Gets You Closer with an awesome Justin Bieber experience. Two spots to go see him live. Plus accommodation and flights thanks to Air New Zealand's grab a seat they're coming up all in the next half hour on the edge Macklemore boys don't cry but your dad has shed a lot of tears they say I should be a strong man but baby I'm still filled with fear sometimes I don't know who I am sometimes I question why I'm here I just want to be a good dad will I be I have no idea they say girls shouldn't be tough And mom should raise the kids at home But baby, I know that that isn't true Cause your mom is the toughest person I know I wanna raise you to be like her And watch you show the world how to do it on your own I'm still trying to figure out who I am I don't wanna mess this up or do this wrong I'm gonna be there for your first breath I don't know if I'll be there for your first step I could promise you that I'll try to work less But the tour's routed And I got this album Put in so many hours And I just want the outcome To be something that I can look back And I can be proud of Don't wanna be a dad That's living in FaceTime But I got a world to sing to And you at the same time I won't spoil you You can trust that But your sweet 16 You get a bus pass Had your heart broken Been there, done that I love you And I can't give you enough of that Get back to community That raised you up Read Langston Hughes I suggest the raisin in the sun Listen to Sam Cook, A change gon' come You put the work in Don't worry about the praise My love Don't try to change the world Find something that you love And do it every day Do that for the rest of your life And eventually the world will change I'll be patient One more month You'll wrap your fingers Around my thumb Times are changing, I know But who am I if I'm the person You become if I'm still growing up That you read The Alchemist Listen to your teachers But cheat in calculus Tell the truth Regardless of the consequence And every day Give your mama a compliment Take your girl to the prom But don't get too drunk Hanging out the limo Slow dance with your woman in your arms Sneak her in after But boy, you better tiptoe Don't wake your mama Do yoga Learn about karma Find God But leave the dogma Quickest way to happiness, learning to be selfless Ask more questions, talk about yourself less Study David Bowie, James Baldwin and Tupac Watch the sunset with best friends from a rooftop Wear a helmet, don't be stupid Jaywalk, but look before you do it If it snows, go outside, build a jump, get some help Get a sled, thrash the hill with your friends till it melts Go to festivals, camp, fall in love and dance You're only young once, my loved one, this is your chance Take risks Cause light moves so fast You're only young once My loved one This is your chance I'll be patient One more month You'll wrap your fingers Around my thumb Times are changing I know But who am I If I'm the person You become If I'm still growing up
DJ Mike and Dom. We want to break the world record for the most consecutive rugby passes, but where are we going to do it? You can vote for your city at theedge.co.nz and we'll announce the winning place tomorrow. JJ, catch. Woo! Oh, oh, all right, that's it. Damn it. You're out. I wasn't yes. ready for that. <laughs> no, we can't risk having you in the team. <laughs> JJ, Mike and Dom, 6 till 10 weekdays on The Edge. <laughs> This old and empty house So hold my hand, I'll walk with you, my dear The stars creak as you sleep, it's keeping me awake It's the house telling you to close your eyes And some days I can't even trust myself It's killing me to see this way Cause though the truth may might be this Ship will carry our bodies safe to the shore There's an old voice in my head that's holding me back We'll tell her that I miss our little talks Soon it will be over and buried with our past We used to play outside when we were young And full of life and full of love Some days I don't know if I am wrong or right Your mind is playing tricks on you, my dear Cause though the truth may not be this Ship will carry our bodies safe to shore Don't listen to a word I say The screams all sound the same For the truth may not be this Ship will carry our bodies safe to shore You're gone, gone, gone away I watched you disappear All this left is a ghost of you Now we're torn, torn, torn apart There's nothing we can do Just let me go, we'll meet again soon Now wait, wait, wait for me Please hang You're on the edge with Marty and Steve filling in for Guy, Sharon and Clint of Monsters and Men with Little Talks. Marty and Steve. So, congratulations are in order for Steph. Four years today with your boyfriend. Aww. Good stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. He's a nice boy. You know, commitment, you love that, obviously. You hate it. Four years. What's That's your longest years. relationship? Nine months. God, that was tough. <laughs> and then you had enough. Huge, yeah. Enough. <laughs> then you had the baby and you left it. No, just well, kidding, just geez. kidding. 
It's not it's touch wood somewhere. <laughs> Come on quickly. Um, so my question for you, Steph, yeah. is mm-hmm. is you know um, from from someone that doesn't know how to keep a relationship together. Mm. How did you know that they were the one? How did you know that your boyfriend Jake was the one? Because like it must there must be a moment, right? I mean, you're mm. four years down the track. Ooh, but that's a good that question. initial moment when it first happened, how did you know? Was there like a, a moment that you're like, yeah, this guy's good. He's good. Well, I'm keeping him around. There was a moment exactly to the day four years ago um, and we were out at dinner and I'm like heavily allergic to spicy food like I sweat like instantly and like when I say sweat I'm dripping with sweat when I have spicy food so I ordered this pizza I didn't think it would be spicy it turned out to be the spiciest blimmin thing on the menu mm. so I'm eating it trying to be all tough and stuff I'm dripping I've got a sweat moustache I've got a sweat monobrow I'm dabbing my face all my makeup is rubbing off onto the serviettes the, my mascara is dripping down my cheeks from running from the sweat. And and that night he asks me if if he, if, if I want to make it official and if I can be his girlfriend. So he, he looked past the sweaty, disgusting mess in front of her with like the sweat in her hair and I'm like smelling. <laughs> and yeah. he still liked me. So I thought, okay, uh, I, the, he's a keeper. But th- that was the point where I was like, okay, yeah. He, I think he's he the played one. his cards quite well because he obviously knew that your confidence was down. He was like, that's the perfect time to ask you to go out with him. <laughs> she is feeling awful. She's feeling self-conscious. No. I'm no. going to ask her while she's looking at her worst. He's had a shocker, to be honest. He probably shouldn't have texted you back. Oh, you're so <laughs> mean. It's <laughs> really hurtful. Four years old. That is a good effort, Steph. But you know what? It's funny when there are those moments because I was talking to a friend the other day and he said that he knew that, well, he, she was the one, was when he had his, like, um, he had his, like, uh, his, his throwing up everything, basically. He had coming out the front, out the back. They were in Indonesia. Like food poisoning. Food poisoning, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it, like, and, and he belly. was basically just, yeah, he was just at his worst, just Yeah, no, we get it, we get it. Hugging yeah, into yeah, yeah. Yuck. Anyway, so she was there cleaning him up, and she he was like, "Well, you know what? If she can put up with me doing that, that must mean that she uh, she actually really likes me." Are they still together? They are still oh. together, of course. Yeah, they're actually like they're the other friends that they're like. I'm waiting for the wedding invitation. It's oh, going to wow. be happening sometime soon. Oh, that's really sweet. But you know, right? I mean, like I don't know, but you listening? I mean, you're in a relationship. You've had that moment where you're like, yeah, that's when I knew that they were the one. I want to know why. What happened? What was that moment? What oh, was that moment? Hundred the edge or text us three three four three. Yeah, and uh, let's see some stories. The crazier the better. I mean, let's see if we can beat Steph's sweet moustache story. <laughs> so gross. Unbelievable. The foundation from my face was like soaked into this napkin. No, I've seen you eat a medium butter chicken. I know what's going on. The we-
will There's a way kind of beautiful And every night has a state so magical And if there's love in this life There's no obstacle that can't be defeated For every tyrant to tee up all the vulnerable In every loss all the bones of a miracle For every dreamer a dream we're unstoppable With something to believe in Monday left me broken Tuesday I was through with hoping Wednesday my empty arms were open Thursday waiting for love Waiting for love Thank the stars it's Friday I'm burning like a fire gone wild on Saturday Guess I won't be coming to church on Sunday I'll be waiting for love Waiting for love Steph filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint Avicii waiting for love. Quite an appropriate song given the topic at the moment. How did you know that your partner was the one? Steph celebrating four years with her boyfriend today. Well done. Good Thank commitment. You. True and love. How was it? It was pretty awesome. And I knew he was the one because I sweated up a storm on one of our first dates. Uh, disgusting after a very, very spicy pizza and I was rubbing off all my makeup and it, I just looked like an absolute mess and he still was into it, so He took advantage days. of you in your, in your weakened, <laughs> weak, weakened state. But that's not even the worst story. Some great yarns Amazing coming through. Amazing feedback. 3343 three, is our text number. I knew my boyfriend was the one when he got shocking food poisoning. We've, we had only been together for four months and I was scrubbing shit off the walls and vomit off the floor. <laughs> Yeah, no that's good commitment. <laughs> On holiday in Fiji, three months into the relationship, we did a jet ski safari in really choppy weather. <laughs> My bum hole was that chafed it was bleeding. She rubbed cream on it. That's how I knew she was the one. That's very caring. <laughs> oh my god. Chafe is atrocious. I cannot imagine. Note to self, don't go on a jet ski safari. <laughs> Salt water and extensive jet skiing. I went to bed and don't thought mix. he'd stay up longer to finish watching a movie, but he came to bed not long not long after me and I had just farted before he came in. <laughs> he didn't mind the smell, so I knew he was the one. <laughs> 
match made in heaven. The moment that you start Dutch ovening each other, you know, the things are on track. It's going oh, well. Oh, man. 0800 The Edge. Tina, how did you know they were the one? Um... So when I met my partner, I was on the benefit. I struggled to even get a job stacking shelves at a supermarket. And he paid me for me to move to Australia with him. And I'm now back in New Zealand, working full time, bought a house. So he 100% changed my life. And that's how I know he's the one. Oh, wow. that's really sweet. So you were kind of just, you were just battling away. And he kind of gave you the lift up and saw all the potential in you. Yeah. Yeah, he absolutely did. Because, yeah, as I say, I couldn't even get a job stacking shelves at a supermarket because there was just no job where I was living. And, yeah, he 100% saved my life. He's made it 10,000 times better than I could have ever imagined. Oh, my God! Fantastic. How long have you guys been together? It'll be four years in November. Oh, <laughs> oh then you can be like Steph and be all yuck and lovey-dovey and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Tina, we're going to give you a prize. You're going to go and see Pixels. You and your boyf can go together. It's in cinemas September the 24th, starring Adam Sandler, OK? Oh, my God, thank you so much. Oh, 100 The Edge, Jeremy, when did you know that she was the one? Oh, mate, I knew she was the one when we went out on a date and um, we were we went to a Chinese restaurant and I asked her what she wanted and she was like, oh, I feel like a whole fish. I was like, oh, yeah, sweet, um, I, I like fish. We ordered the fish, came out, it was a whole fish. And then um, she goes to me, uh, do you mind if I have the eyeball? <laughs> oh, my God, she did not. <laughs> oh, she did, man. And I was just like, I looked up to the heavens and I was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I said, yeah, yeah, you can have it. You can have it. I'll get it for you. She goes, are you sure? I said, yeah, yeah, I'll have the one on the other side. Oh, oh brilliant, mate. It's true love. You guys are bloody oh, disgusting. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> What are, you doing? what are you doing eating fish eyes? Jeez. Hey, Je oh, we ate the rest of the fish too. <laughs> Jeremy, we're going to hook you up with the Delfaster Pixels as well, okay, mate? Ah, oh, sweet is. Cool, Jeff. Yeah, they don't sell fish eyes at the cinema, so maybe have that beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Now make sure you register your workplace at theedge.co.nz and go on the draw to win an arcade gaming console for your office, plus tickets for you and your workmates to check out Pixels when it comes out this Thursday. Next on the show, Mad Conray Dalton. Also, we're going to be giving someone a call back that has used the hashtag Edge Gets You Closer. If you've done that, get your phone ready. We could be hooking you up with tickets, flights and accommodation. Thanks to Grab a Seat next on The Edge. You're actually not going to believe this. Hey, New Zealand, this is Justin Bieber on The Edge. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, intimate and acoustic in New Zealand. What do you mean? What we mean is you could see one of the world's biggest stars, Justin Bieber, in New Zealand at a secret location for an intimate acoustic show. Can't tell you where yet, sorry. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, intimate and acoustic in New Zealand. Where are you now that I need you? Want it? RSVP for the Edge guest list at theedge.co.nz. Then, if your name's called out at 8.10 tonight on the Edge Smash 20, call 0800 The Edge, be first through, and you've got a double pass. The Edge gets you closer to Justin Bieber in New Zealand. The Edge. The Edge Roadrunners, supported by Dress Smart. Smart brands, smarter prices. Hey, it's Becky here for The Edge. The Motorcycle Expo is happening on the 4th of October. You don't want to miss it. You'll get a free breakfast and free motorcycle and scooter safety tips. We're celebrating with a $200 petrol voucher up for grabs. So text the keyword breakfast and your details to 3343 to go in the drawer. The Edge Roadrunners, supported by Dress Smart, Main South Road Hornby. Like them on Facebook so you don't miss any hot deals. Put a spring in your step. The Walking Festival is back, with more than 37 free walks over 15 days. From Saturday the 26th of September to Saturday the 10th of October, these walks will cover the duration of the school holidays. Explore Christchurch City, the Port Hills, and parts of the Waimakariri and Selwyn districts, including coastlines, forests, gardens, and city streets. View the full program at Walking walkingfestival.co.nz The Walking Festival, brought to you by the Christchurch City Council. I'm Mike Big Roberts. coming up on 3 News at 6. Pandemonium in the beehive. John Key backs a new push to get pandas for Wellington Zoo. They're calling him David Hammerin. So what does Downing Street make of Piggate? The Kiwi who died in the Amazon in the cleansing ceremony and Auckland's great bike heist. Then on Story, being burgled recently, well, chances are the offender got away. We look at what you can do to help police do their job at 7 on 3. 
Don't miss House of Travel's two-day Aussie sale on now. Save $150 on any return flight to Australia flying Air New Zealand or Virgin Australia. Get in quick. This incredible offer ends at 5pm today. House of Travel. How Kiwis see the world. Conditions apply. The more it weighs, the more Metal Corp pays. Help Metal Corp feed their new beast. Their new metal shredder is hungry for scrap metal, so bring in your metals and watch as it's shredded to a fraction of its original size. And you can trust that you'll get a good deal, because they're not only New Zealand owned and operated, they're Canterbury born and bred. Metal Corp on Horswell Junction Road. The more it weighs, the more Metal Corp pays. Pizza Hut's turned up the heat with its new hot and saucy pizza range. The delicious sriracha chilli sauce is just right on the hot scale. Try chicken, steak or veg and let your taste buds zing. Only at Pizza Hut for a limited time. Canterbury, 95.3, The Edge. In for Guy, Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from...
ready for the summer, girl, your head look killer See your boo getting bigger, but your waist looks slimmer And I hope it's still with you when your head get thinner I ain't gotta work it out, I know I'm onto a winner And I love it when I see you sing a song in the mirror When you play your favorite records where there ain't no filler Chicka chai, chicka chicka shy, DJ Dilla Now I'm on the right track, went from a train to a limmer Now we on the right track Yeah, you should know me back in college, now I got it like that Could've got a side track, now I'm back on my feet If I hadn't achieved, would you pack up and leave? Now you're scratching on me, like we're Adam and Eve Nigga, remix to ignition in the back of the Jeep Ah, she like a hoop, but she don't know the best She know I love her, even if I never say the words Trouble and a couple of bites Why don't you stay over here And keep me up in the night And when you're coming in here I do it just like a lie Girl, I'm ready for your loving Girl, I keep on pulling You my lucky number That I keep on calling Wanna never let me go She said she fed up a drive Because I kiss her in the night And then I leave in the morning I tell her one I already know she the one She 22 We in the front time blue I'm when she free You know she cool on me Then I make her take it off And pull it all on me Man in the seats Don't sleep tonight Playing R. Kelly I believe I can fly Yeah She like a hope but she don't know the best She know I love it even if I never say the words I see you're quite shy Guess I'm a sucker for those nice sides I ain't in it for the money or the fame I'm the one that all the honeys couldn't tame Yo, I change with Maddie and see you filling in for guys sharing and Clint Tiny Team but Jess Glenn not letting go I'm so glad that song's finished so we can carry on with the show Steph's just been cornering me for the last three minutes <laughs> no, I have not trying to get me to uh, confess to her that she's got abs you can keep <laughs> your top on Steph please <laughs> I've been working hard on the summer bod and I appreciate you just just humouring me and saying yes. <laughs> yeah, you got, you've got abs. Put your top back down. Jeez. <laughs> Flabs. Okay, this is very, very important. Hashtag edge gets you closer. There are little Justin Bieber stickers around every single town in the country. Your job is to find the sticker, take a selfie with it, upload it onto any social medium, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anything you want. Use that hashtag edge gets you closer and that puts you in the drawer to win a double pass to the exclusive Justin Bieber showcase. Not only a double pass, you get flown up to Auckland if you're out of Auckland, accommodation and, um, well, yeah, the tickets, of course. So it's a bit more of an experience. It's great stuff around. It's all thanks to Air New Zealand's Grab a Seat and their temperature deals, which are daily available at grabaseat.co.nz. All right, let's give somebody a call. Our phone lines are full right now. You guys, we call you. So if you're calling us right now, your phone's going to be engaged and it won't work out. So I don't know why people are trying to call us. I've never seen the phones hang up so quickly. That's great <laughs> stuff to you. Okay, here we go. Hello? 
<laughs> All right, well, whilst he's just I'm labouring sorry, over the dialogue... I'm just really concerned that I didn't do it right. Oh, God, OK, I think I've done it. Okay. All right, fingers crossed. Mm-hmm. Live radio. Okay. Here we go. Well done, Steph. Hello? Hi, Lee. Oh my god, did I win Justin Bieber tickets? You totally have won Justin Bieber yeah. tickets. Congratulations! Oh <laughs> Woohoo! Well done, Thank Lee. You so much. Hey, so whereabouts in the country are you, Lee? Wellington. And where did you find the Justin Bieber sticker to put yourself in the drawer? Um, up the top of the tower in um, Frank's Park. <laughs> Fantastic. You that did the is job. great hunting from you. You did the deed. You are going to Justin Bieber getting flown oh into Auckland. All thanks to Any Zealand's Grab a Seat, girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> no worries. That is outstanding. If you want to be like Lee, make sure you go check out where your local roadrunners are hiding these Justin Bieber stickers and upload it to Edge Gets You Closer. Thanks again to Any Zealand's Grab a Seat and their ridiculously low temperature deals from grabaseat.co.nz. Next on the show, we're going to give uh, Matt and Travis a call. Now, Matt and Travis, you might remember from a year ago, they were the two blokes that got married so they could go and support our boys over in England. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to give them a call and make them redo their vows because it's one year on their marriage and it seems fitting to make sure that the love is still true as they get ready to gear up to go to England. So they join us on the show next. Here's some Lord with Yellow Flicker Beat on the edge with Marty and Steph. I'm a princess cut from marble smoother than a storm And the scars that mark my body they're silver and gold a flood of rubies, precious stones, it keeps my veins hot, the fire's found a home in me, I move through town, I'm quiet like a fire, and my necklace is a rope, I tie it and I tie Talk to me, but nothing ever hits so People talk to me and all the voices just burn Oh, I'm going with it This is the sky of how it all ends They used to shout my name, now they whisper it I'm speaking up, and this is the red
You're on the edge with Marty and Steph, Lord Yellow Flicker Beat. 15 minutes away from 6 o'clock. Marty and Steph. Oh, I am bad at telling the time. Hard luck me. Um, so a year ago, pretty much today, we married two young men, Matt and Travis. It was for our Love You Man competition. And if they married, that meant that they could go support our boys in London for 2015 as they try and, well, win the trophy back-to-back. It's exciting stuff. Matt and Travis, they join us on the phone now. G'day, boys. Hi, guys. guys. How's it going? Hello. Now, Matt, it's been a year since you guys tied the knot. Has life changed now that you're a husband and you've got a husband? <laughs> no, it hasn't, it hasn't changed too much. So it would have changed if I got a dollar for every time someone asked us how married life was. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You'd be a rich man, I'm sure. You would be a rich man, that's right. <laughs> now, Travis, I've wondered, you know, you've been together for a year. At any point, you know, after a few beers or anything, did you decide maybe it's a good idea to consummate the marriage? Uh, yes, but not with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so not with Matt. That still hasn't happened. Maybe, you know, if the boys get up over in England, yeah, it might seem fitting. Who knows? Oh, uh, who? yeah, who knows? Anything can happen in London. Hey, well, so boys, we thought that because you're one year on, it might be a nice idea to redo your vows before you head off. When are you guys actually heading off? We're heading off on Tuesday. So, a week today. Oh, exciting. So, um, yeah, we exciting. thought, you know, I mean, you're, you're still you're still strong. You're still, you know, best friends for life. But we thought we would renew your vows since it's 12 months since the big day. Oh, okay, yeah, no worries. Sounds good. Brilliant. All right. Um, I'll, I'll lead you, Matt, um, if you could repeat yeah. after me. Cool. Oh, this is so romantic. But, hey, we don't have to... We can leave our clothes on this time, though, can't we? I just remember um, last time we did this with you, we... We we're, we're, were stripped down right to our knickers. I mean, maybe maybe if you want to take your pants off. I mean, obviously okay. we can't see that, but get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I already do have them off, so that's good. So I'm ready to go. It's been a hard day at work, has it, Matt? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, so Matt, repeat after me. One year on, Travis, our bond is still so strong. One year on, Travis, our bond is so strong. Still strong. I promise to continue to be the best husband I can be. I promise to continue to be the best husband I can be. I promise to always hate Wayne Barnes with you. I promise to always hate <laughs> Wayne Barnes with you. And I promise I'll give you the best ruck. <clears throat> I promise I'll give you and continue giving you the best ruck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really sweet, oh, right? That was so sweet, man. That was so sweet. sweet. No worries, Trev. Oh, you guys. Okay, Travis, repeat after me. After 12 months together, Matt, I'm still so into you. After 12 months together, Matt, I'm so into you. I promise to continue to be the best husband I can be. I promise to continue to be the best husband I can be. I promise to give you 100% for the full 80 minutes. <laughs> I promise to give you 100% for the full 80 minutes. And wow. I promise to let you blow my whistle whenever you want. And I promise <laughs> to let you blow my whistle whenever you want. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, Wicked time, love birds over in London. Go the go the men in black. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was it. Appreciate your call. That is Matt and Travis. Yeah. The boys they got married last year in our Love You Man competition. They're leaving on Tuesday, I believe. Up next, we have the latest in scandal and edge news and sport coming up at six o'clock. Guys, Sharon and Clint, the edge. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus. You alright, mate? Are you dying? What's wrong? I'm sorry, I just um, choked on my own saliva. Oh. <laughs> that sounded terrible. Can we, can we hear that again? I don't know how that happened. I'm okay. This is what. <laughs> Instant slow motion replay. V edge. V edge. It sounds like the noise you make when you're gargling on some balls. Okay, okay. 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 Excuse it's me. It's all fun and games. Excuse me. We're not talking about that sort of balls. We're talking about his first balls that he eats every day. Okay. Oh, my God. If I would say that on the radio, guys. Things get weird at 3 o'clock. <laughs> guys, Sharon and Clint, back Monday, 3 p.m. October 5. The countdown to payday is on, and your bank account is empty. empty. Top up with a Save My Bacon little loan, <laughs> and you could have cash in your account today. SaveMyBacon.co.nz. Little loans, no surprises. Credit criteria applies. I'm Wendy Petrie. Stay ahead with One News at 6. Yes, they're adorable, but should millions of taxpayer money be spent on bringing pandas here? The idea has the Prime Minister's backing.
Mixed martial arts, some consider it a brutal sport, but its popularity is growing. Should our kids be doing it? And the All Blacks new haka, it's gone viral on the internet, but is it traditional? We get the latest from the Rugby World Cup from Andrew Saville in London. We'll see you soon at 6 on TV1. I smoke four new car tyres a month. I smoke a big screen TV a month. I smoke a week's rent every month. Oh, I smoke a weekend off work every month. Smoking costs a packet, so make Stoptober the month to stop. Ask your doctor if Champix is right for you. Quitting smoking has immediate and long-term health benefits. Costs based on smoking a $20 pack per day. Champix is a prescription medicine to help adults stop smoking. It contains 0.5 or 1 milligram varenicline and has risks and benefits. Tell your doctor if you have existing health problems. Stop taking Champix if you notice changes in your mood or behavior and see your doctor if you get chest pain or any side effects. Use only as directed. Funded if you meet criteria, pharmacy and doctor's fees apply. Visit champix.co.nz, Pfizer NZ Limited. Auckland for more information. If you want car dodged Pukeko hit neighbours tractor insurance, then you'll want a local insurer who has been helping New Zealanders for over 90 years. Call AMI today on 0800 100 200 or visit one of our 60 local stores. Dream of getting paid to see the world? Do it with Avonmore. Starting soon, Avonmore's travel, tourism and hospitality courses are free. You heard it, free fees. But just for a limited time, some criteria apply. For our awesome purpose-built campus in the heart of the city, gain the skills you need to work in hospitality as airline cabin crew, tour guides and more. Want to go somewhere? Call 0800 for Avonmore or check out our website, avonmore.co.nz. Avonmore, giving you the best start. SPS Bank has more hot home loan rates. Just 4.69% per annum on terms 12 months to 2 years. This offer is for a limited time, so be in quick. Visit spsbank.co.nz now. Residential lending only. Terms and conditions apply. Rates are subject to change. Canterbury, 95.3. The Edge. Marty and Steph in for Guy, Sharon and Clint. Are they making you hungry? Not sure why they would, but if they are, try Burger King for dinner. Drive in now. Ah. Uh, I don't recognize Wondering if there's somebody else in the world She said that I'm crazy Now baby it's you Shows up to fill her cup I know all she wants is just to get my love I wish we could be just like Johnny and June She cut out my heart and left me in the room And I know I, I should quit her And I'd do it if I could She a hot mess But I confess Damn she got me good Cause I love When you're messing with the bad guy yeah, yeah. She got a body like a fast car Movie star I do anything to be a bodyguard She like getting naked and swimming in pools She make it look sexy to break all the rules Falling too fast I might crash But once you're going bad You know you can't go back I just wanna watch every way that she moves She out on the edge like there's nothing new When you're messing with the bad girl She bad She got my number So hot she hotter than Vegas And I just down the summer Hot class Another cover Waking up we so sticky We stuck to one another She gets what she wants She takes what she needs She all over me She kind of me But ain't a problem to me A little bit of hell But she got me in heaven She my prime girl I'm MKT007 
good when you're messing with the bad girl. Molly and Steve's scandal. One Direction may have disappointed the world when they announced that next year they're going on a 12-month long hiatus, but they may have just redeemed themselves a little bit because One Direction have joined Snapchat. Ooh. Their Snapchat name is One Direction, spelt O-N-E, no space direction if you're interested. But there's nothing they haven't posted anything yet. They've got the account, but just no Snap stories. Who's got the most followers when it comes to Snapchat in the world? Is it Kylie? Kylie Jenner. I can't remember how many it is, but it's, it's in the ridiculous million mark. Yeah, crazy. And she offers such rubbish. No, it's really cool. It's really good. It is not cool. Justin Bieber is a shocker. has opened up in an interview with a French publication. It's called Clique. And he talked about sometimes how lonely he can get, but also how he's in the best place he's ever been in his whole life. Check this out. People would never guess that artists like myself, that we would feel lonely with all the things that are always around us and people. But a lot of it is really surfacey. And there's no depth to those relationships. And so you just end up feeling like, well, I'm connecting, but I'm not feeling what I want to feel. So that's where I ended up. I was just in a place of like searching because I felt like people weren't what I needed them to be for me. So now I'm really surrounded by like really cool people who are like really for me and like I can really connect with. And I'm in like I'm in the best place ever. Probably I've ever been in my life. He also revealed that him and Kanye West have done a collaboration together, but it probably won't make it onto either his or Kanye West's album. And he talked about hang times with Kanye West. Kanye's a talker. So yeah. you get him in a room and he just starts talking and he just starts ranting and I just sit and I listen, you know, because he's been through a lot of stuff and he's not just talking to just talk. He's obviously got something to say that he's feeling from his heart. So when I when I hear that, I just I like to just sit and listen. He's a really, really smart guy. He just he doesn't mind a rant, does he, old Kanye? And then he talks about how he's obsessed with a girl in New Zealand called Steph and how he's secretly in love with her. Do you want to play the audio? Oh, there it is. Beep. Yeah, I just uh, love Steph uh, lots and lots and lots. Love her lots. Well, that's cool that you um, share the name with the girl that he's got a crush on. Uh, What's her last name? Keeping our secret relationship under wraps at the moment. Uh, that scandal, theedge.co.nz, to find out all of today's stories. And The Edge, speaking of Justin Bieber, has your only chance to get along to the intimate and acoustic Justin Bieber showcase. You can RSVP at theedge.co.nz. Ten past eight is your next chance. That is when Oscar and Mon, who are filling in for our show, they are going to be releasing upon the world three names. If you're the first person to call back, then you win. Next, we have the latest in Edge News and Sport with our old pal, Glenn. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, Intimate and Acoustic. You have won tickets to the exclusive Justin Bieber Showcase. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, I actually can't believe it. Thank you guys so, so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Helen, you've got to go see Justin Bieber. <laughs> RSVP for the Edge guest list at theedge.co.nz. Then, if your name's called out at 810 tonight on the Edge Smash 20, call 0800 The Edge, be first through, and you've got a double pass. The Edge gets you closer to Justin Bieber in New Zealand. It can be a hassle spending time searching online for the best value airfares, but not with Jetstar Price Radar. All you do is tell it where you want to go, when, and how much you want to pay. And if your airfare drops to the right level, it emails you. Oh, sweet. Napier, here I come. I better get booking. Activate Price Radar at Jetstar.com and find the fare you're looking for while you're not looking. City of Ink. The legend lives on. If you're thinking of getting a tattoo, go to City of Ink, Rickerton Road. Consults, designs, anything tattooing. City of Ink, just down from the Straven Road intersection. Want a clean, friendly tattoo studio full of talented artists? City of Ink, Rickerton Road. Ta moko to old school. City of Ink prides itself in being a studio that covers all the bases. Come in and get yourself inked. City of Ink, the legend lives on. You're at one of the biggest family concert events in Australasia. There's some big names playing, even our very own Savage. It's an important day, but you didn't have any problem deciding what to wear because you're wearing what everyone else is wearing. A thick coat of green slime. Catch all the craziness of the Nickelodeon Slime Fest. And when you're finished getting slimy, get spongy with the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water. A top watch this month on Sky Box Office. Sky, come with us. Pegasus Health, 24-hour surgery. 
the 24-hour surgery, Corner Beely and Colombo. There to care for you when your GP is unavailable. See 24hoursurgery.co.nz. Summer Starter is back. It's a fun run like no other. There'll be entertainment, dress-ups, colour and costumes all the way from New Brighton to Redcliffs. You can even scoot and bring your dog. So get amongst it. Entries are open now with 4K and 10K run and walk options. Plus $3 from every entry goes to help worthy charities. Keep an eye on the press for training tips and much more. For more info and to sign up, head to summerstarter.co.nz. Summer Starter, Canterbury's fun run and walk, November 29th. SPS Bank has more hot home loan rates. Just 4.69% per annum on terms 12 months to 2 years. This offer is for a limited time, so be in quick. Visit spsbank.co.nz now. Residential lending only, terms and conditions apply, rates are subject to change. The Block NZ Villa Wars premieres Tuesday, September 29 on 3 and on 3 Kings now. Agree. 95.3 The Edge. That, 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 that's some news for you. I'm Glenn Stewart at 6. Emergency crews have been called to Auckland Airport after a suspicious package was found by customs containing cannabis and a white powder. The package itself, the substance, is currently in an airtight drum. It has been tested for anthrax and the result is negative. A family business will struggle to recover after 150 motorbikes were stolen from a warehouse in Auckland early yesterday morning. Owner Bruce Wooten. I think probably some well-organised criminals are out there and uh, they come in through our back entrance, disarm the alarm system. Together the bikes are worth around $200,000. And forget the selfie stick, if you want to take pictures of yourself soon, you'll be able to buy this selfie drone. An Aussie company is working on a drone that can follow you around taking pictures of whatever you're doing. That's your latest Edge News. STA Travel Early Bird Europe sale on flights, Contiki tours, and more in store and online at sdatravel.co.nz. Edge Sport. The All Black side to face Namibia in the Rugby World Cup Friday will be out at one tomorrow morning. Coach Steve Hansen confirming there'll be big changes from the side to beat Argentina. The guys that didn't get any game time, you can put them in straight away and you just about get a tick for being right. Then it's a matter of looking at how everyone else has come through it, what workload we want people to have. Australia named the full strength side today to take on Fiji. Rugby World Cup 2015 news with Nova Soto Glass proud to be New Zealand owned. And two of the Rabbitohs stars, Dylan Walker and Aaron Gray are in intensive care in Sydney after a suspected drug overdose. They had surgery last week and were on painkillers. Their club bosses confirmed today they took more painkillers than they were supposed to. In for Guy, Sharon and Clint, it's Marty and Steph from Smash. Good afternoon, it is three minutes past six. We could be sending you to London to attend the X Factor UK Grand Final. Now, how you get yourself in the drawer is to go to theedge.co.nz and you'll see a plane there. You just need to put your name down as one of the seats. It is that easy, but once all the seats are gone, then hard luck, you need to wait till tomorrow morning for them to reset. At the moment, they go at about one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So tomorrow morning, go have a look, theedge.co.nz. You could be seeing the likes of Simon Cowell, Rita Ora, the presenter, Ollie Murs, live as we hook you up. Up with return flights for four people, accommodation and tickets to the grand final. And it is back on TV tomorrow night and Thursday night, TV 3, 7.30, or you can watch it right now at 3 now. Speaking of competitions, a while back, a couple of months ago, we ran a wee competition to go to America on our international edge guest list to see Iggy Azalea. Well, what do you know? She's cancelled the show. So we've got something up our sleeves for one very, very lucky person up next. Let's play a bit of music. Some Mu- music, shall some we? Music. Oh. You okay? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> years and years shine <laughs> on the edge. Waiting for the light to go. Don't you feel that hunger? I've got so many secrets to show. When I saw you on that stage, I shivered with the look you gave. Don't you hear that rhythm? Can you show me how we can escape? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Be redefined
me down You can pull me under You can raise everything to the ground Everything I can arrange Every part of me you change Just hold me together Tell me you'll always want me to stay I was trying to hide I'll forget what I've done I'll be redefined This shaking sky And I'm following lightning I'll recover if you keep me alive Don't leave me behind Can you see me? I'm shining In a tear that I've been waiting to find Wanna be the one you steal I wanna be the one you shield I wanna be the one that your love, that your love can heal I wanna be the one you steal I wanna be the one you shield I wanna be the one that your love, that your love AJ, Mike and Dom. We want to break the world record for the most consecutive rugby passes, but where are we going to do it? You can vote for your city at theedge.co.nz and we'll announce the winning place tomorrow. JJ, catch. Woo! Oh, all right, that's it. Damn it. You're out. I wasn't it's... ready for that. <laughs> no, we can't risk having you on the team. <laughs> JJ, Mike and Dom, 6 till 10 weekdays on The Edge. If I got locked away and we lost it all today, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? If I showed you my flaws, if I couldn't be strong, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? Right about now If I judge for life, man, would you stay by my side? Or is you gonna say goodbye? Can you tell me right now? If I couldn't buy you the fancy things in life Shawty, would it be alright? Come on, show me that you do Now tell me, would you really ride for me? Baby, tell me, would you die for me? Would you spend your whole life with me? Would you be there to always hold me down? Tell me, would you really cry for me? Baby, don't lie to me If I didn't have anything I wanna know, would you still Around. If I got locked away and we lost it all today, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? If I showed you my flaws, if I couldn't be strong, tell me honestly, would you still love me the same? Skiddly down, 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 down. All I want is somebody real who don't need much. My girl, I know that I can trust To be here when money low If I did not have nothing else to give but love Would that even be enough? Y'all me need for no Now tell me, would you really ride for me? Baby, tell me, would you die for me? Would you spend your whole life with me? Would you be there to always hold me down? Tell me, would you really cry for me? Baby, don't lie to me If I didn't have anything I wanna know what you got around If I got locked away And we lost it all today Tell me honestly Would you still love me the same? If I showed you my flaws If I couldn't be strong Tell me honestly Would you still love me the same? Tell me, tell me, would you want me? Tell me, tell me, would you call me? If you knew I wasn't ballin' Cause I need that girl who's always by my side Tell me, tell me, do you need me? Tell me, tell me, would you want me? 
me, do you love me? Yeah. Or is you just tryna play me? Cause I need a girl to hold me down for life If I got locked away And we lost it all today Tell me honestly Would you still love me the same? If I showed you my flaws If I couldn't be strong Tell me honestly Would you still love me? With Marty and Steph filling in for Guy Sharon and Clint R City, Adam Levine with Locked Away. Marty and Steph. On the line right now, hello Sophie, how are you? Hey, good thanks. We've just called you up to um, actually sing you a song. It's called oh, Sophie. Awesome. And it goes like this. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie you. Sophie, 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 Sophie. What the hell are you doing, Sophie? She's obviously dancing to our um, song. Yeah, totally. I'm having a little boogie on the street. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, so far, we've actually called for another reason. I know you're like, oh, my God, keep singing because it's so good. But we've actually, um, yeah. we're calling to discuss an issue. A couple of months ago, you won our Edge International Guest List. You were our winner to see Iggy Azalea live in America, right? Yep. So, Iggy Azalea has actually cancelled the show that you have won tickets to. And we were like, this sucks. We need to make this right somehow. Yeah. So, Sophie Hinton of Auckland, instead of Iggy Azalea, you are going mm-hmm. this Friday night to see Kanye West perform live in LA. <laughs> oh my God, that is so amazing. Woo-hoo! You guys are absolutely incredible. Oh, you know, we've pulled some strings. I mean, we couldn't have you just go there just for a holiday and not see anything. So right, Kanye, exactly. obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kanye is going to be the replacement for Iggy Azalea. I would argue even be- that's you better. Are so cool. I reckon too. The show's... You must be like your mate or something. Did you just call in a favour? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've had to pull some strings. It hasn't been easy so far. You know what? We've done it for you. The show's going to be at the Hollywood Bowl, which is an incredible venue in LA. And I really hope he does one of his rants because imagine witnessing that. <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, it, it could be a concert or it could be a his lecture. First, yeah, his lecture. <laughs> so, you know, either or it's going to be fun. Yay, Sophie, go to Kanye! Yeah, I might learn something. Woo! Yeah, hey, thank you so much, guys. Here's some C of Chandelier on the Edge. Party girls, don't get hurt, can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down. Good time call, phone's blowing up Bring on my doorbell I feel the love, I feel the love
in for Guy Sharon and Clint. It's Marty and Steph from Smash the Edge. And any stranger I choose Would things be easier If there was a right way Honey, there is no right way And so I fall in love Just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new I fall in love Just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new I fall in love Just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new To life's distraction To somehow escape the burning weight The art of scraping through Some like to imagine The dark caress of someone else I guess any thrill will do Would things be easier If there was a right way Honey, there is no right way I fall in love just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new I fall in love just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new I fall in love just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new I fall in love just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new I fall in love just a little, oh, a little bit Every day with someone new I fall in love just a little, oh, a little bit Marty and Steph filling in for Guy Sharon and Clinton Hosier with someone new. Marty and Steph. So there is a member of staff leaving at the end of this week. She's been working here for about a year or so and look. You're oh. particularly a little bit upset about her departure. I am because yeah. she is hands down the most beautiful girl that works here at The Edge and she's moving away and I just feel like I have to let her know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about hands down the most beautiful girl working at The Edge. After Steph, mm. but you know how I feel about you, so I don't need to, you know, <laughs> put all my feelings on the table. I haven't told her how I feel, so she needs to come into the studio and I need to tell her my true raw emotions and see if I can maybe sway her into staying instead of leaving on Friday. Do you want me to go get her? Yes. Okay. Rachel. Hi. How are you? Good. How are um, you going? Yeah, yeah, good. How are you? Good. Hey, well, look, um, you know how you're leaving on Friday? It's your last day. Yes. Well, I just thought that I couldn't really let you leave without telling you how I really feel. How you really feel? Yeah. Um, so, like, you've been working here for the last year or so, and... Um, I don't know, I feel like you're, you know, you're really beautiful, you're intelligent, you're witty, um, and I think you're really special. 
Oh, thanks, Marty. That's so and, nice. Um, well, I just don't know if I can let you leave on Friday. Um, I know that you're going with your husband to America, but yeah. without kind of putting on the table that it's okay if you wanted to maybe not go with him to America and stay here in New Zealand with me. And I'd be open to that, and, and I'd like to offer that you, you don't leave and that you stay with me here in New Zealand. That's a lot to process. Um, I don't know what to say, but it, it, I think that's really lovely. Um, uh, I have no idea what to say to that, but it, it, that's a really... If, if you mean it, then that, that's a really nice thing to say. And I hate to put you on the spot, but, you know, um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know how I feel. Thanks, Marty. That, that's really lovely. Um, I guess, yeah, uh, I am married and, and, and happily so, um, but I think you're amazing. And but I also think you can do way better than me. So stop it, stop it. <laughs> of course you can. Um, yeah, and I mean, it, it's scary, like moving away. And I mean, my husband and I are going to be relying on each other a lot. I think it's going to be a good test and stuff. But I I do have to go and and do that. Um, but it, that's a really nice thing to say. I'm very. I guess surprised and quite flustered, as you can probably tell. Well, instead of being really angry, I think you've actually answered with the oh, right I answer because it okay. Because Finn's actually joining us on the phone right now. Good afternoon, yes, Finn. Yes, I handled it well. Hey, how's it going, Finn? <laughs> well, I told you he loved you. Remember we've had conversations about this before. And you always thought that Marty had a thing for you. Well, I didn't true. think that, but that's not. I'm very well, flattered. So the, the feeling was mutual. Okay, maybe actually it was me. No, maybe it was me. I, I thought Marty had a thing for you. So truth, truth comes out, eh? Oh, I'm truth very, I'm very, very flattered. I am. Well, yeah, honestly, Finn, you're gonna have to take her away as quick as you can on Friday. Get on that plane <laughs> to America. Mate, I know where you live, Marty. I'm coming to get you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All the best, Rach and Finn, for your next kind Thank of big adventure in LA. Best of luck to you guys. It's going to be amazing. And please get a pull-out couch so I can come and stay. Marty's not allowed to stay at your house. <laughs> oh, he, can sleep out. he can sleep out on the deck, but he's not allowed on now. <laughs> it's nice and warm over there, so you'll be fine on the lawn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe he needs to stay in New Zealand. It might be safer. <laughs> All these guys can thank one TV show for their success. Nobody can drag me The X Factor UK is on TV3 and we want to put you on the Edge international guest list. Enter at theedge.co.nz to win return flights for you and three mates to London, accommodation and a seat in the studio audience at the grand final of the X Factor UK. This season features judges Simon Cowell, Cheryl fernandez Versini, Nick Grimshaw and Rita Ora and presenters Ollie Murs and Caroline Flack. Searching for the next pop superstar and the Edge gets you closer. The X Factor UK, Wednesday and Thursday nights, 7.30 on TV3 watch on three now. Applying for a home loan and hearing this? Talk to the experts in Mike Pirro about your low deposit or credit issues. Call 0800 500 123 or visit mikepirro.co.nz Mike Pirro, Mortgage Lending criteria applies. When it comes to grand designs, Kiwis do things a little differently. So, to save money, you're doing all of the excavation work yourself? Yeah, sweet ass. This site is visually stunning, but it's only metres away from a vertical drop. I have to ask, you do have resource consent? Should be right. The progress you've made here has been fantastic. Have you kept to the budget? Yeah. Nah. Grand Designs New Zealand. Premieres Sunday 4th of October on 3 and on 3 now. Proudly brought to you by ANZ. Motorcycle riders, don't miss the Motorcycle Expo. Free barbecue breakfast, demos and speakers. Sunday, October 4th from 9am at Canterbury Agricultural Park, Curlitz Road. Register now, ccc.govt.nz forward slash motorcycle. In New Zealand, Aussie sale on now. $150 off all return flights to Australia. Use promo code Aussie150 when booking online. Sale ends 22 September. Car payment fee and travel periods apply. Book now at airnz.co.nz. Thinking Melbourne Cup, Cup and Show Week or a wedding? Then Park Avenue Fashions is your one-stop hat and fascinator shop. Park Avenue Fashion's first delivery of hats and fascinators has arrived from Australia in all the colours of the rainbow and bound to impress. Accessorise your outfit with a stunning one-off only fascinator. 
Rush in now to your best hat address. That's Park Avenue Fashions, 363 Lincoln Road with car parking alongside of the railway line. Hair loss is a medical condition and Ashley and Martin treat it that way. For your free consultation, text FREE to 8855. That's FREE to 8855 or visit ashleyandmartin.co.nz. Burgers and dogs have hit the menu at Machina. Get stuck into a tasty meal with family or friends. Open Wednesday to Saturday from 5pm, Machina is a great place to catch up with a big group or take out the family for dinner. Plus, they've got pool tables and arcade games free on Wednesday and Thursday. So visit Machina and try their tasty burgers and dogs today. Dress code in R20 applies after 9 Friday and Saturday nights. Canterbury, 95.3, The Edge. Marty and Steph in for Guy, Sharon and Clint. Winning radio. And with delicious flame-grilled beef and tasty tender chicken, BK for dinner is a clear winner. Drive in now. Sorry if I seem uninterested. No, I'm not listening. No, I'm indifferent. Truly, I ain't got no business here. But since my friends are here, I just came to kick it. But really, I would rather be at home all by myself. Myself, not in this room with people who don't even care about my well-being I don't dance, don't ask, I don't need a boyfriend So you can go back, please enjoy your party I'll be here, somewhere in the corner Under clouds of marijuana With this boy who's hollering, I can hardly hear Over this music I don't listen to And I don't wanna get with you So tell my friends that I'll be over here With this an antisocial pessimist But usually I don't mess with this And I know you mean only the best And your intentions aren't to bother me But honestly I'd rather be Somewhere with my people We can kick it and just listen to some music With the masses like we usually do And we'll discuss our big dreams How we plan to take over the planet So pardon my manners I hope you'll understand that I'll be here Kitchen with the girl who's always gossiping about her friends Or tell them I'll be here Right next to the boy who's throwing up Cause he can take what's in his cup no more Oh God, why am I here? Oh, here Oh, here Oh, I ask myself, what am I doing here? Talking about a hater, she ain't got none How did it ever come to this? I should've never come to this So holla at me, I'll be in the car when you're done I'm standoffish, no one with your offering And I'm done talking awfully Sad it had to be that way So tell my people when they're ready that I'm ready And I'm standing by the TV with my beanie low Yo, I'll be over here Vote for your favourite song in the Edge Smash 20 now at theedge.co.nz. The countdown starts at 8.
is Nico and Vince Baby Rex are kidding. That's how you know. Marty, I feel like our bond is pretty special. I feel like we know each other so well that... I've had enough of this today after, you know, confessing my love to Rachel from work. Don't need you to come in with all this relationship stuff now. No, 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 it's not relationships. All I'm saying is our friendship is so strong that I feel like you could finish off my sentences. Yes, I could. Correctly. I mean, yesterday we celebrated our two-year anniversary. That's quite special, isn't it? We'll put our friendship up to the test right now. The Edge must-have DVD is San. Andreas. Correct. Starring Dwayne The Rock. Johnson. Correct. If you want a copy, call us on 0800 The Edge. Correct. Nailed it. Oh my god, three out of three. Fantastic. Well Thank done. You. High five. Give me one more. Um, Steph is the coolest person in the opposite land. No, it's world. Oh, opposite world. No, just world. Oh, just world. Yeah, wrong. Damn it, nearly got four out of four. Hard like me. Oh, 800 the edge. What number are we going to go for? Call a number. Ten. Ah, oh, <laughs> so close. <laughs> Eight or ten, one of them, <laughs> you win. This is GRL Lighthouse on the Edge with Marty and Steph. When it gets real, just know that I'll be there. I got your back, like it's just you and me here. I'll go to war for you, let them bring it I'll take on the world for you, better believe it So if you need me, just holler my name We ain't ever scared, no we're not afraid We're never whatever, no I'm down for life I'm your ride or die When the night gets cold and the lights go out The sun is gone behind the clouds and you sharing and
Sniff's scandal. Kendall Jenner has admitted that she does, in fact, have a nipple piercing. What a Ooh. badass. So she said she got it when she was going through a really rough period in her life. She wanted to be a little bit of a rebel and thought, let's just do it. She said it hurt, but it wasn't as bad as everyone made it seem. My question is, when you're breastfeeding, what happens? Does the milk come out twice as fast? No, I don't think that's how it works. At all. Thank you for that answer. You're welcome. Or like, if you've got a nose piercing, doesn't mean... Snot comes out of that hole, does it? No, nah, but like if you're milking, you know, if you're ready for milk. I don't, know, I don't think so. I don't know. Hey, uh, maybe if you've got a nipple piercing and you've had kids, then you can text through to 3343. Does the milk come out twice as fast? Your mind. I question it sometimes. Speaking of the Gina girls, let's talk about the other one, Kylie. She has defended herself again, saying, I've never had breast implants. So she wrote about this on her new lifestyle app, which is amazing, by the way. Oh, my God, I'm obsessed with it. And her, um, it's kind of similar, it's like this, the same thing for her website. So make sure you go and check it out. It's called thekyliegina.com. She's saying her new larger breasts are due to wearing push-up bras and putting on a bit of weight. She wrote, no, people, I haven't gotten breast implants. Everyone's obsessed with that. Truth is, as I've gotten older, I've gained 15 pounds and my body has changed. I'm definitely filling out. I guess that's just that's just what happens, you guys. Get over it. She's she on their breast implants. It's called growing up. Happened to me. I got stretch marks as well. Do you? Bio oil. Um, that's quite good. Uh, trust me, I've tried that. Doesn't work for me. Really? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do anymore. Do you have any home remedies? Hey, there's another question. Three, three, four, three. Mothers out us. there, what did you do? How did you get rid of the stretch marks? And did your milk come out twice as fast with your nipple piercing? And that is scandal. The edge.co.nz to find out all of today's stories. The Edge has your only chance to get along to the intimate acoustic Justin Bieber showcase. RSVP now at the edge.co.nz. And 10 past 8 is the next time you've got to be listening up for your name. Coming up next, the latest one from Ali Goulding called On My Mind. The video came out today that you can check out at theedge.co.nz. It's not good. Steph, you don't like it? Nah, it's tacky. Don't like it. But you go and watch it and rate it for yourself. Yeah, go have a look for yourself. What do you think? Um, be it's, honest. It's Ali. No, be honest. I just like seeing well, Ali. What did you tell well, me I earlier? Like, I didn't like the guy in there. I thought he was pretty dumb, okay. but um, it's got Ellie in it, so that's great. Just <laughs> focus on Ellie. Oscar and Mon, not long away until they start the smash when you count down either on the edge. The Edge presents Justin Bieber, Intimate and Acoustic. You have won tickets to the exclusive Justin Bieber Showcase. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, I actually can't believe it. Thank you guys so, so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Helen, you've got to go see Justin Bieber. <laughs> I don't even know. RSVP for the Edge guest list at theedge.co.nz. Then, if your name's called out at 8.10 tonight on the Edge Smash 20, call 0800 The Edge, be first throw, and you've got a double pass. The Edge gets you closer to Justin Bieber in New Zealand. How does a TSB Bank home loan rate of 4.49% per annum fix for two years sound? Now, how does it sound with a Samsung Galaxy S6 thrown in? Even better. TSB Bank. It's just a better way to bank. Offer criteria and terms and conditions apply. This is the sound of people all over New Zealand winning. And you can join them because every single time you top up on Vodafone Prepay, you win a share of our awesome $5 million prize pool. Yippee! Every top up wins. Only on New Zealand's favourite prepay. Simply top up with the My Vodafone app. Vodafone, power to you. Every top up gets a bonus on eligible plans. Competition ends 31st of October. See vodafone.co.nz forward slash every top up the terms. Crispy Burrito is back on the field for KFC. And don't the crowd love that barbecue bacon? Oh, my money's on the hot newcomer. Look at that supercharged burrito with jalapenos. <laughs> not much money when it's only three ninety at KFC. Yeah, you're not wrong. Celebrate 10 amazing years of on-trend contemporary lounge fashion with the Valentine's Fashion Week Runway Wrap Party. Featuring special guests, Karen Walker, Catherine Wilson, Deadly Ponies, Huffer and Mark from Camilla and Mark. The Runway Wrap Party will showcase fashion at its finest and the major trends hitting the street.